All right, what's going on, everybody? <clears throat> you know, it's been a long time, probably more than a month, since I played ZTR on stream. But I got a goal today, and that goal is to get at least over 1,000 points in the GP, so that by tomorrow I can get the rest I need to get into the top 5%. I think I need to get around 6... I need to be around the top 6,000 something, <clears throat> some, somewhere around there. So yeah, I got a lot of points to get. Luckily we got like a bunch of time today to grind. That's a great way to start the stream with a glitch that I can't seem to do anything about. Dang, starting off this game with a glitch. Can't believe that almost about to be a year and they st still can't fix these things. And I can't leave. Yep, does not seem like I can be. Oh, that's one way to start off the stream. With a glitch. Immediately. Didn't we get to do one race on stream? It started off glitching. Fasten your seatbelts for a I'm gonna race stuck out of any king chicken. I have to win three more races. Alright. That person leaving the last 10 seconds or was it 11 seconds? Okay, I think it's the last 10 seconds. Gosh, why won't they fix this glitch? This wasn't a problem when the game first came out. Just two of us race, not for that. <laughs> I still chose Jungle for me anyway. <laughs> hey, I, I gave him a fair shot. <laughs> 
I was like, well, if I was going to choose Jungle Book, if I would have tapped it there, so I was like, I'm going to choose Random then, just to give him a fair chance of getting some other stage, in case he doesn't want to waste there, but it's still chosen anyway, so... It was destined to go to that... Yo, what color has green and black like that? Wait, no, that's a Spiral Mobile, but it has black flame. Wait, what? But the flames are always on. The, the, the Halloween colors? That's the only color I think that could be. You know, because it was. I don't know. Jaw 1893 has left your game twice. Oh, I missed the item, please. Let me do that as soon as this face is over. Wait, is there no one behind me? No. Let me just try to get a blue shield in case something bad happens. Do not want alarms going off in the middle of the stream. Oh dang, everybody got DC except for my palm. But no, never mind, it's the Mix James who's not racing for some reason. It's kind of weird, they literally just joined the lobby. How do you immediately just join the lobby and then do nothing? Or maybe they were hoping there was no AI racers, so they could just sit there and do nothing and get third. Oh, yeah. Actually, what to term is if there's AI racers? Because it's like, they're not put in every single race. I vote for fire! Yes, at least two other people agree with me.
know, I wonder what the odds of getting a rare Wampa crate is. I mean, not the odds of the crate, but the odds of those crates popping up on the track. Probably like 20% or something. I see them like every, like, I see it like three times out of like 10 races or so races. So it's not like very, very rare. Probably like a 20 to 30 percent chance. No, I lost my friends. And someone immediately got a missile. Oh, thank you for giving me the shield now. Kinda late for that. You know what I hate? People's that people still get hit by projectiles on your screen. I mean, not well, the environment. They shouldn't because it's very misleading. Dang it, barely tapped that wall. Okay, this person guys got the stupid good item luck that I hate. Like, people just be getting it for no reason. First he gets a triple missile, now he gets a shield. And that somehow did not hit me. I've never seen lag work to my favor like that. So, like you will, it's so funny. You will completely avoid those bombs, don't get hit. Run straight into them. Wait, my bad, I said that backwards. You will completely avoid those bombs, end up getting hit. When you run straight into them, nothing happens. Maybe that's the goal when you're playing online. Just run straight into those. Clearly that's how you get, that's how you don't get hit by them. I think that might just be the problem. I'm always trying to dodge the rolling bombs and I always get hit somehow even though they never touch me. Maybe I should just go straight for them from now on. And I just go right through them like they don't exist. I guess I have to win one more race with King Chicken. Then yeah, who to go to after that? I think I saw a mission for Crash. Something hang time with Crash, I think. I don't know. To get all the character missions out of the way while I can. Get every little bit of GP I need. I'm mean, every, every bit of that meter I can, so I don't have to pay as much money for the coins. I don't think the GP ends until Monday, though, right? Like Monday morning. Yeah, because this still says one day remaining. Man. 
Yeah, one more race to win the King Chicken. Yeah, 200 seconds of air time will crash back. That's battle mode, now we're gonna worry about that. Oh, I gotta win the race in online matchmaking thousands of power ups. Wait, does that say win the No, just complete the race. Okay. So complete the race without using power-ups. That's going to be so hard to do. Because I know just by instinct that I'm going to want to press the circle button. And especially on this track, because this track heavily favors smacking somebody with an item to win. Right after the, that one boost pad, before it starts doing auto square turn, like you hit somebody right there, you put them out of the race. I don't think I'm lucky. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to do it anyway. I'm definitely not winning this race if the other races are competent. There's no way you can win on this track without using items against competent players. So I, I'm gonna take the L, but I'm doing it to get more points for the bar. So no items, no circle button. And if I win, that's an added bonus. See, we already started. <laughs> no items. No items. No matter how much it hurts, no items. Hope I can at least get into this top three. See them. Train coming up? No, okay. No, lost my fire. Oh wait, I gained some distance from them? Alright, let's go. Oh no. That was bad. Can't afford to make any mistakes like that. <laughs> Especially if I'm not using items. Catching up. No, I don't need that. <laughs> no, anything about that. No. I'm gonna take the outside lane just so I can get more fire.
Oh. No! I always hit those. Always somehow manage to hit those. At least once in the race. But I guess these players weren't good enough to keep up with me. Even though I was doing very horrible that race. All those lap times, 50, not not even close to like 50 seconds. Good. That was horrible. Well, okay, I took out two missions in one. Went five times with King Chicken and uh, went without using any items. Not win without using the items, complete a race without using the items. I just gotta get that achievement for airtime with Crash. What colors do they have? Oh, first of all, what track are we going on? I just face paint. Okay. Let's go with this one. Oh no, wasn't there a second one for not using items? Oh no, that's on the, uh, the drive through track on. Now I'm expecting to get hit at the very beginning on this track because it's like tradition. If I don't, that's a miracle. I didn't? That's a miracle! Ha, he got hit for two, let's go. No, why'd my fire run out? Oh, I lost his face. So I'm about to hit this laser. You know, gravity just worked like it should have. I should have hit the laser, but you know, <laughs> I just stopped 
Yeah, on a dime for no reason. <laughs> uh, physics sometimes just doesn't make sense. Gosh, I hate that you could. That any tracks that have these type of loops and stuff, what I hate is that you just suddenly end up going backwards so easily. I lost my fire. You know what? On this track, I'm just gonna start going to the uh, drive on the left path. Because literally everybody and their mother puts items on the right path for some reason. And like nobody wants to drive on the left. I'm just gonna start doing that. Like, <laughs> seriously. I almost never see items on the left side, but the right side is just littered with 5,000 items. That was a good track though. Okay, should have gave me a lot of air time to crash. Dang, first and second finished within 0.1 seconds of each other. That was a very close race. Pretty sure they both won on their screens, but then uh, whoever got second was disappointed when they found out the other person beat them. Even though I'm pretty sure on their screen they won. They will not stop me from voting on Polar Pass. His name is Boston. <laughs> and a trade bandicoot. Well, hopefully that trade bandicoot person doesn't go after you. You can't go after someone that has the same last name as you. We, we both got Bandicoot in our last name for our PSN. That means we should be allies. Hey Violet, how are you? I'm doing fine. Oh, you, you missed a uh, buy emblem stream. People still play this. Of course. It's, it's still one of the best kart racing games ever made. Way better than um, that Nintendo. What was that game called? I don't know. I know there's a Mario game. I don't think they have any good kart races. At least not, not any good kart races like Crash Team Racing, right? Definitely not no eighth installment of the racer game we made for the Switch, but has no competitive merit whatsoever because they removed the skill gap. Nah, Mario definitely doesn't have that, right? I'm pretty sure whatever kart racer Mario may have, it has skill in it. It's all skill based. No luck base at all.
Man, they both got shields? Like, I swear, I don't understand why people be getting shields all the time. Can I get a shield? I really would really appreciate that game. No, I didn't touch that. Come on, game. I 100% did not touch that. I cur I went straight to the right, and I somehow still hit that. I saw the back of my vehicle not touch that, but I somehow still got hit. Something good. Unless I just completely missed the item crates. Did that person get hit? I thought I saw someone get hit. Please tell me that somebody that got hit. Yes, okay. I can get it at least third. My missile or something. Dang it. I got robbed though. Robbed by that green potion that did not touch me. That green potion did not hit me. I probably would have won this race. Because that green potion had made me lose how much time? Looking at my second lap, I lost 8 seconds from that. So 8 minus uh, 13, what's that, 7? Wait, no, that map is horrible. <laughs> Ignore that map, my bad. Five, which means I would have finished at 2.15, meaning I my time could have been faster than person in first. Which means if I didn't get cheated by that blue potion on that second lap, I could have finished faster and I could have won. But nope. I hit a potion that I didn't touch. Sometimes I wish these hitboxes were pixel perfect. I'm talking about hitbox. A lot of games, I, I wish the hitboxes were pixel perfect. I don't know how hard it is to do that. Probably it's very hard, or maybe that just you know, people are just lazy with hitboxes. But there's so many times where if the hitboxes fit so perfect, I would be I would be doing so much better, whether that's a fighting game, a racing game, whatever game. That's my brother Trey again. <laughs> Dang, is that my long lost brother I never knew about? Trey Bandicoot? Ah, I never knew I had a brother named Trey Bandicoot. And after all these years, I finally found him a CTR. And now we can race together. Just like in the days of old, with my other brother. <laughs> Finally, a family is just united. Superior brother? No! I'm clearly the superior brother. He just didn't get cheated by a green potion he didn't get hit. He probably has a better luck stat than me. That's probably it. I'm pretty sure all my stats are better. I must be more intelligent. I must be uh, better at games. But luck made him win that race.
Oh man, I feel like I'm not gonna do good on this track because I've not played on Dragon Mines in a while. And this is one of those race tracks where you need to be on the top of your game. Oh my gosh, how am I missing so many items? Like all day today. Yo, I think I fixed the hitbox. This one is an invisible wall right there. Don't hit me, don't hit me. Oh, okay. It's a train. Oh wait, I went way too right. I'm just gonna go this way. Oh my gosh, they all got Akus! I'm just gonna stay behind them. <laughs> See, Violet, I'm clearly the better brother. He only won because of an idol. Look at this. Look how far behind he is from me. Oh wait, I guess he finished, but it didn't count his time. <laughs> I don't know what time he finished. I cheated, how did I cheat? I didn't use, I didn't smack anybody with any items. Yeah, look, Trey finished 10 seconds behind me. I'm trying to say he's a better brother. I didn't smack anybody with any items. Wait, yeah, yeah I didn't even use a single item. I, that was just pure skill. There's no way anyone could go that fast without that. Okay. <laughs> okay, Miss Violet. Over here playing in all these uh, CTR league races and gonna say no, nobody can go that fast. Okay. If that's the case, I would have swept the entire competition in the CTR recently. <laughs> Friend request received. Let me guess, it's from Trade Back. <laughs> I knew it! <laughs> I gotta add them to friends. <laughs> uh, CTR. I have to do it! <laughs> There's no way I can't add them to my friends. That's my long lost brother! <laughs> I, I was like, I'm pretty sure Trey Banny was gonna send me a friend request. <laughs> I just knew it. I usually do not check my home screen like that. But I was like, I, ha I just had that, you know, that, that brotherly psychic connection <laughs> that he was going to send me a friend request. I was like, I need to go and look. Oh yeah, Violet. You missed the uh, final two levels in Fire Emblem Three Houses Crimson Rose. They were crazy as heck. 
The second to last level took me four hours, and then the last level took me five hours. Do the CTR League season Spurs <laughs> Bandicoot. Uh, the thing about that though is I'm pretty sure it's too late to register, and I'm not gonna be racing in the league this season. I don't have the time to be uh, practicing CTR for most of the week, and I don't want to be leaving a teammate out like that. Not good behavior for a teammate. And um, there's so many games I need to play. Like I need to complete three houses. So since I beat one of the roots on three houses, I'm probably gonna put it on the back burner a little bit. Then maybe play Astral Chain. Yeah, I should play Astral Chain. I've been wanting to play that game. Oh yeah, I know it's season three. You know what's funny though? I have not played this game in a month and I still I have somehow have not lost it. I would could have sworn I'm gonna be hitting like every single wall. But nope. Apparently I still got it. No, my brother is falling behind. Come on, brother. We must catch up. Take a second. No! <laughs> uh, I didn't cut the corner hard enough. Yo, let's go. I finally went on a, a race about hitting those cleaning things. Always managed to hit them. There we go. Now that's a lot better for a time compared to that trash time I had earlier. That was like 2 minutes and 50 seconds. I saw a guy who saw me messed up on Mystery Case on Hyperspace Way. Okay, look. Hyperspace Way does not count because I always mess up on Hyperspace Way. So technically, I still got it on Hyperspace Way. <laughs> As for Mystery Caves, where did I mess up? Oh, right, I touched the wall on the shortcut. Well, I always lose fire in that section on in Mystery Caves. So, I still got it. And then Android Alley, well, yeah, you got me there. Uh, yeah, you turned off stage. With those logic, you never had on those tracks. But I, by when I say I still got it, that means I'm still at my level. Not that I'm the best CTR player in the world. Damn, we got a triple crash bandicoot finish. Polar pass. I don't know about that, Violet. What happened in that last race if that's the case? Who won that last race? Uh, 
Okay. Well, then, if that's the case, and you can't say anything about hyperspaceway because I got hit by item hell on that track. <laughs> you can't say, and then on uh, Mystery Case, you can't say anything about that either because I got hit by a missile at the very beginning of the race. And then on, um, Dodge, you can't dodge a missile if you don't have an item to block it. On the very beginning of the race in Mystery Caves, I went for the shortcut. I can't possibly have an item. There's literally nothing I could have done about that. <laughs> Someone shoots a missile at me after that shortcut. I There's nothing I can do except pray that it misses or hits somebody else. And knowing my luck, that's not going to happen. Dang, what happened, Trey? You gotta keep the lead. You can't just get missed a shortcut. The easiest one in the game. Oh, I thought they were gonna land behind me. My death possession was super off. Ah, dang it. If I was a second sooner, they would have been hit. I'm gonna avoid this dolphin that seal at all costs. Why was I about to call it a dolphin? For some reason, I always want to call those things dolphins. And this is why people ban me from Holder Pass. I love this track. <laughs> Thanks for the host, Robotron. No, by the missile hit me before we before we even got to the lake. There was no way I was getting an item creep. I'm not the lake, but that water part with the turtles. Dang, my second and third lap were the exact same. <laughs> the exact same time. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> they both were 3877 on the dot. It's rare to have a lap time that's like identical like that. I said move aside a little bit. Oh, you're talking about the very beginning when I got smacked off of the, the bridge into the water? <laughs> I don't know, Trey had the lead, but then they like, they hit the wall. 
It must have hit a seal or something, I don't know. Damn, when they really want you to play on Turbo Track, <laughs> how do you put both of these in here together like that? <laughs> oh no, I'm losing on this track for an absolute fact. I know for a fact I don't got it on this track. I'm gonna hit that wall. That's guaranteed. I'm about to take a big L on this track. I, I guarantee you, I'm about to be like, alright, let's go. You're going to see me go into the air and then, bam, right into that wall, and it's over. And if I somehow make the shortcut, it was completely blind luck. Oh, yeah, so back to what I was uh, talking about, uh, fire emblem. Yo, the second to last map. I thought all hope was lost. Like, I, you understand? There was like a bunch of people, and they were all transforming into uh, giant monsters, which are all like bosses on their own. And so there was like, I don't know, there was at least like twelve giant monsters on that map. And then like, just when I thought it couldn't get any worse, then Raya showed up. Raya showed up with like. 20 and reinforcements from behind and on the side, so I was surrounded from all angles. I was like, it's over for me. I didn't hit the invisible wall? That's weird. This one was one, like, right there. Note to self, remember there's a green potion right there on that corner. Do not hit it. Okay, this thing should be coming on the other side. Now what was my note to self again? All right, green potion. This is a miracle. How did I not hit the wall or that green potion or the barrels? The heck! I'm not supposed to got it. Have it on this track. That may have been the best run I've ever had on this track online in my entire life. I didn't touch the barrel. I didn't miss the shortcut. I didn't get hit by a single item. And I haven't played this game in like a month. How? How did I have a flawless race on Sewer Speedway? How did I get the shortcut all three times and not get hit by one barrel? And not hit my own item? Because <laughs> I always hit my own item.
Ego, Ego Death changed. <laughs> Ego Death changed to Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> I'm a David Go, so we got three <laughs> Crash Bandicoots on. Mad respect to Ego Death for doing that. <laughs> They changed so that all three of us are Crash Bandicoot <laughs> and just winning. <laughs> oh man. Because <laughs> Eagle Nest had a different skin, but then Eagle Nest changed to that so we all could be in sync. <laughs> So, Eagle Nest does have that one vehicle. I hate that they have exclusive vehicles to things outside of the game. Like, it's horrible practice. Like, really an exclusive cart to some cable provider that's only in certain states and First of all, it's not even worldwide. It's only in like the U.S. Now, on top of that, it's not even the whole U.S. It's just certain states. Now, on top of that, a cable provider that literally has nothing to do with CTR. Like, I'm sorry, that's just not acceptable. I have never seen DLC practice gone that horrible. <laughs> like, at least you, the DLC has something to do with the game normally. But like that's just straight up has nothing to do with CTR whatsoever. Like you gotta go out of your way to get that. Oh yeah, I'm messing up on this track. This is not one of those tracks I've really practiced at all. I hate snow levels. Ignore me saying that. I mean ignore a polar pass. That's not a snow level. Because like the the snow doesn't really affect you. Ah, dang it. Touch the wall. On the bright side, I put a TNT crate there. Probably not gonna do much. Might slightly slow someone down. No, my power slide didn't come out. Let me hit this. Make sure they have to take the outside lane. Wait, is that robot always gonna be on that side? on the second lap. I think they will. Cause I always do manage to hit it like on the second lap now that I think about it. I didn't hit the wall, let's go! That never happens. This may be my best run on this track online as well. Yep. No! You have the two bad crash bandicoots! They didn't get the top three! No! No! It's not an all crash radical finish. Oxide and Velo got in. Those two are a team. You can't let them win. No. Also, certain cities. Dang, so it's not even the state. It's cities. Yeah, there's horrible DLC friends. Like, I'm pretty sure nobody would have had a problem if it was just free to everybody. You probably have to pay like a dollar or two, but.
to make it so hard to get for no reason for it, especially an awesome looking cart like that, that makes such a unique cart engine sound. I don't know what I'm doing in points. 318. That's 700 more points to go. This stream is not ending until I'm at least over a thousand points. Or I have to go to work. That car should have been a part of the GP so you can customize it. No, yeah, none of those exclusive cards can get customized without like any glitches. I know that was a it was such a nice looking car, and I gotta make a nice looking one like that. Get hidden behind a paywall that most people can't even access. Like it's not even like it's just hidden behind a paywall. It's hidden behind a paywall, locked inside a fortress with. Like the highest grade of military de defense force guarding it. <laughs> that only exclusive people that with the right access key can manage to get into. <laughs> and then they still gotta pay, they still have to pay the paywall after they get through all of the military force. <laughs> That's what this DLC is. Oh, it makes me sad though. When someone sends me an online friend request saying, "Dude, you're so good at CTR," and I'm and then all I can see is they're just thinking like, "Well, actually, I'm actually pretty bad at it." <laughs> so many people way better than me. I'm like at the bottom of the barrel. No, almost had a perfect run on this track, but I barely tapped the wall twice. I better not lose turbo track. Why? Isn't that your track, not mine? <laughs> And I'm pretty sure every time we race in the league, I got in like the bottom two places on this track. But yeah, I'm pretty sure I got the bottom two places on this track. So, I'm I, and every time we raced in the racing league, so I don't know why you think I would win on this track <laughs> easily. If I was against anybody in the league, I would have got last. Well, I would have finished behind them. Anybody in the league. 
Well, except for um, the the two people who got last in the league yeah! that didn't make it the playoffs, not including them. Yeah! But then again, we didn't race against everybody in the league, so I don't really, I don't really know how I fared because we played against the second, second or third place team, like. For half the season. <laughs> well, people keep, they keep on sending me messages telling me to join the CTR League. They were like, no, don't leave. Find a partner, join the CTR league, and I'll be like, I'm sorry, but my time has come. I no longer will be with you. I must move on to the other world. As the tears came out of their eyes, and they were crying, knowing that I was slowly fading away. They were no longer seeing the smoke coming out of my exhaust. And my wheels blew up and flew off of my vehicle. And they're all like, This is gonna be the end of Chief Bucket. And I was like, It's okay. I did what I had to. Hopefully, I inspired the rest of you to continue on in my stand. And then I faded away, never to be seen again. Unless some type of plot armor kicks in. But that's not going to happen because I'm definitely not the main character. So now I'm pretty sure I died off. At least I got to die on camera. And not like some characters who just mysteriously die one day. Off camera and never to be seen again. I should put this up just to be safe. That was weird, this track actually became one of my better tracks once I actually took a little bit of time to practice it. Like I was actually like really bad at this track and then I just like, you know what, let me just practice this for a good hour and then I became so much better. <laughs> I, th I thought this track would be like so impossible. And it turns out all I really needed, the biggest change was just to switch to drift class. It allows me to just turn a lot better, not just go off road 24/7. Yeah, I found that with the the two um the two the how do you even call them? I don't know the two track levels. This and turbo track. Turns out my greatest weakness is just all I need to do is to switch to drift class, and that improved my results tremendously. Finish. Three crashes and one cocoa. And all the villains. By the way, no, never mind. Eighth place. Wait, was that an AI or? You no, know, no, eighth place was an AI, so that doesn't count. Wait, bye. So they're gonna do it the same way again? They didn't, um. Because I haven't really been looking at the CTR League Discord that much. They aren't changing the rules to be like a. What's it called? Round Robin or Swiss League? I thought they said they were going to change that. Did people vote for that?
That was funny though. Seeing three Crash Bandicoots on the victory podium. Because usually if I run into a Crash Bandicoot online, like 80 to 90% of them are bad. So it actually surprises me to see three Bandicoots finishing in the top three. Oh, Papa's Pyramid though. This is definitely a track I'm going to be messing up on. Oh, someone else switched to Crash. It's only a matter of time before this becomes the only Crash Bandicoot lobby. Soon. Ooh, I almost dropped my controller. You know, I also noticed something else. Um, it's been a lot easier to play CTR ever since I ripped this thing off my controller. I used to have a... Well, I do kind of still have a Persona 5 skin on my controller. But while playing the CTR League, it kind of started messing up. Because of how much I need to be pressing that square and X circle buttons. And it kind of started making it harder to press the buttons. And it's been making me mess up a lot. And I probably should have fixed it. Probably should have just cut it off a long time ago. But for some reason I just didn't want to. But I cut it off now and it's like, oh my gosh. It's like I'm not just randomly making mistakes out of nowhere anymore. Like most of my mistakes, I feel like it's 100% me now. Why did I U-turn there? Ah, uh, you hit the wall. No! I'm gonna run out of fire because I messed up. Missed that boost. One boost made a huge difference of losing fire or not. There we go, someone finally got rid of that TNT grenade. Thank you, whoever's the brave soul who sacrificed their body to get hit by that. Your sacrifice will not be in vain. I will win for you. I heard a Crash Bandicoot get hit by a Warborg. <laughs> Dang it, Trey! No, that was Trey! No! <laughs> hey, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe Trey got worse luck stat than me. <laughs> Which is kind of bad because my luck stat is 1. <laughs> I only got 1 point in luck out of like whatever is the scale of luck in the world. <laughs> So, if Trey's luck stat is worse than mine, like, what did it have to be? Like, half a luck stat? So I'm gonna get a full one point of luck stat. 0 0.5? 0 0.1? Cause I heard that. I think Trey was in second and I just heard smacked by a warp orb and then he dropped, he went from second down to fifth. Like, I didn't even see it happen. 
Like, I just heard it. Trey switched to Coco, and they exclu- Why well, is like everybody got this card? <laughs> I see like three people in one lobby with that card, I'm gonna be like, okay. Uh, that's how it is. What did I- Oh right, I lost this track earlier today because I got hit by flames I did not touch. Because they will never fix the hitboxes. <laughs> My trap was set. Take the inside lane while setting up the flames on the inside lane. further submit my lead. I meant to get those crates. Now I am missing a lot of crates today. Now did anyone place an item there this time? No? Thank you. No! Amateur mistake! No! And Trey has a blue shield. GG's. You win this one, Trey. Hopefully I can still get in the top three. Wait. Okay, yeah, it looks like I can still get in the top three because that Velo messed up. Well, I got a juiced up missile. Trey, you screwed up! No! Don't worry, Trey. I'll take the lead! Only Crash Bandicoot- Oh, shoot. That person almost messed me up. They body blocked me and prevented my jump. <laughs> Good thing I'd be acting in time and did not go for the shortcut. Trey would have won if they would have been on Crash Bandicoot. They're gonna have the plot armor. Wait, no, isn't Coco supposed to be the one with the plot armor? <laughs> Wait, huh? No, Coco. Yeah, Coco's supposed to be the one with the plot armor. Never mind. You brought shame to Lord Empress Coco. <laughs> I mean, every time I've chosen Coco, my results have improved tremendously. I mean... I 
I haven't lost to um, Lambda. <laughs> Coco. Lambda's way better than me, but the two times I've chosen Coco, I beat I did better than Lambda. <laughs> so Coco's the one with the plot armor. Cause I won when quit on him, so no, Violet. I chose Coco against him two times, and one win quit both times <laughs> on two separate days. <laughs> so it, I gave him two chances to make it 50-50, but I won both times. So as far as I'm concerned, that's a best two out of three, which means I'm the better Coco. Twice to one win quick. <laughs> but it's t that's two out of three. I beat him the two times that we raced as Coco, and I'm never doing it again. <laughs> so I can always hold that. <laughs> I'll race him as Crash, but you know, I gotta be. See, it wasn't fair for me to choose Coco, because that's. See. When I get, I'm already really good. If you give me plot armor, I'm unbeatable. If I actually try. So, I can't just choose Coco against him. I need to make it even playing grounds. He needs the plot armor in order to make sure he beats me. Wait, did I switch back to top speed? Yeah, I think I did. I hope I did. Sorry. Yo, wait, I got a bomb on the first item crate, that Lambda plot armor. Yo, okay. As long as I don't lose fire, I got this race in the bag. Should finish near my... Should finish near my best time trial time. Nope, never mind. All these potions. <laughs> I should... I think I could finish in like a minute. Is this is one of my better tracks. Oh, okay. Let me go at that angle again. Yeah. Dang, I lost fire. I think I hit a wall on that shortcut or something. I could have finished in like a minute 20, but I lost my fire. Stupid AI. Uh, everybody, don't misquote me. Do not misquote me. I said, if I choose Coco and have plat armor, I'm unbeatable if I actually try. I said, if I pick Coco, don't misquote me. It isn't just, I'm unbeatable if I actually try. It's if I choose Coco, and I, so I can get plot armor, and actually try, then I'm on deal. Because we all know Crash Bandicoot does not have plot on it, despite the game being named after him. He actually probably has one of the worst luck stats in the game. They have hidden luck sets. Yeah. 
The only track I like out of any of these is like Coliseum. Oh man. Any other track gets chosen, I'm losing. Uh, 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 uh. No, that's my rough circuit. This is one of my least favorite tracks in the game. Wait, one up or is it the least my least favorite track in the game? Dang it, Sonic Train to the left. Oh my okay, well I guess we're not racing on this track again then. <laughs> Sonic Train to just left. Wait, they're the only person that wasn't playing as a Crash Bandicoot, huh? Yeah. Well, thank you for making that sacrifice, Sonic Trainer, so that none of us would have to race on that horrible track. Koala Carnival? Nah, nah. Spiral Track is worse because you take the portals. You can't see the items. At least on Koala Carnival, as luck-based as it is, you can at least see items in front of you. Spiral Circuit is a short track based on luck. And you and you can't see items if they place it right after the portals. Wait, what? The race is still going? That can't be right. Sonic Trainer left in, in the last 10 seconds. Must be a fluke. Oh, I missed the items. I fully expect to lose this track though. Yeah. I was not trying to shoot that, <laughs> to be honest. Like, I literally just got a missile the nanosecond I pressed circle trying to. Uh, switch items as fast as possible. I have a habit of doing that a lot. If I went on this track, that's a miracle because I'm very bad at this track. I haven't even put in the time to practice this one. And now that I think about it, this track never showed up in the, the CTR League, huh? But this track never showed up in the CTR League, right? Yeah, I don't, I don't remember even practicing this track at all. Oh, dang. Didn't have been to see that. I was thinking that was a regular treasure chest. <laughs> see, that just shows my inexperience on this track. Trey is right behind me. All I need is a good item and they win. Can they do it? Nope, I think it's too late. I think I submitted this victory, as long as I don't do anything stupid like crash into a wall. Wait, you think Binax actually, uh, fixed that glitch? Huh. Hey, Malva Disco. Hope I said that right. A lot of tracks in the show. What tracks in the show up? I think Koala. I mean, uh, Koala Carnival, Spiral Circuit. Um, the new DLC track, but to be fair, that was kind of new. So, oh no, no, the DLC track popped up before. Oh, yeah, yeah. So the wait, was that January or February?
I don't remember if the Wasteland track popped up during his CTR league. No, I think it did. Like, at the very end. But yeah, it was mostly the DLC tracks that weren't put in. Never before in my entire CTR racing career would I ever think I'll see a lobby for Crash Bandicoots. It's so beautiful. Now we just need a lobby of eight Crash Bandicoots. He has more than enough skins for it. <laughs> How much does he have? Like thir 13, 14 skins? Now, this track, I need to practice the shortcut on. Like this shortcut is, I don't know, this is very inconsistent for me. too fast for that missile to handle. Oh, my power slide didn't come out. Should I go for the shortcut? I should not have went for it. I should not have went for it. Why is there a visible wall there? I keep forgetting this is an invisible wall for some stupid reason. <laughs> Ooh, I almost fell off. Dang it, I barely tapped the wall. Once I've learned the track, I mean the shortcut on this track, I'll be good. I just need to figure out what angle to go at and where exactly I need to hop. Again, my power slide did not want to come out right there.
So will they run away and quit? I hope not, considering the fact that they sent me a friend request. <laughs> I'd be kind of messed up to do. <laughs> Send someone a friend request, keep racing, and then when you beat them once, leave never to be seen again. No, no, never mind. Trey won like two times, I think. Well, no, no, no. What? Trey won once. And then the second time they got second when I got. No, no. First time they got second when I got third. And then this is the first time they got first. I probably would have had it if I didn't go for that shortcut, but it was too good of a chance to try to. It was too good of an offer to try, attempt to do. But now I forgot I have to fully commit to the shortcut. I can't just go halfway for some dumb reason. But this is an invisible wall right there. It just won't allow you to land on the track and just stops you and makes you fall through the track. What was the thing for Jar through Danger? I'm not going to use any power-ups. It's going to be so hard to do. Remember, do not press circle. Do not press circle. You hear that, you bugger? Do not press circle. If you press circle, you might as well just drive backwards on the track and lose. Alright, Violet, you lost. You press circle. You weren't supposed to press circle, Violet. You weren't supposed to press circle. You can press any button except circle, but then you press circle button. Why'd you do it? You, you gotta get the bonus points for not pressing circle. Yo, imagine they had a mission on this track saying don't touch the boost pad. You know how hard that would be? How hard that would be? Like the hardest mission in this game is the one that says do not touch a boost pad. That literally goes against everything in my entire life I ever learned to do in a racing game. And Trey screwed me over. I got hit by um, his AI body. The AI body bag messed me up. But I couldn't power slide, so I lost my fire. It's a, for some dumb reason in this game, you try you touch someone else on the racetrack and it just screws you over. You can't control your vehicle, you can't power slide, you, you can't do nothing. You just sit there frozen in the air until the game decides so let that person not be under you. Oh man, I was about I was just about to press circle to get rid of that shield. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Do not press circle. Do not press circle. Does not matter what place you get, just do not press circle. Oh my gosh. This not press and circle thing is messing me up so badly. Can you still make this shortcut? Oh wait, the fire wasn't it. Okay. Someone switched it to green? Ew, who does that? Everybody knows it's all about pizza, not burgers.
Alright, I didn't press circle. I did my goal. I didn't care about what place I got just as long as I did not press circle. Wait, did I get lapped by everybody? Wait, how'd I get third? Let's go, I passed whoever that was. <laughs> At the last second. <laughs> Man, that person must have felt like they got robbed. They were they were in fourth. And literally, like, in the last nanosecond, I passed them. <laughs> and took third. Alright, whatever, everybody. You know I have clearly more wins, and I was handicapped that race. And my goal wasn't even, even to race that track. My goal was just to not first circle. I did that goal. So as far as I'm concerned, I won. On my terms. Alright, Retro Stadium, you know what that means. We're going old school. Now somebody remember to, remember to tell me to change the music back after this race, because I know I'm going to forget. You know one thing I'll never understand? Why they didn't make a separate soundtrack for Turbo Track? Because Tiny Arena and Turbo Track shares, share the same soundtrack, but Slide Coliseum is different. Like, yes, it's still the same central theme, but it has like different instrumentations and a different feel, while Turbo Track and Tiny Arena that just has the same for some reason. Oh my gosh, what am I doing? No! It's the Coco plot armor! Trey switched to Coco! That's what happened! What, what? What did I get hit by? What did Trey get hit by? Uh, I must have got hit by whoever that was throwing those bombs. Wait, shouldn't this be the same as Turbo Track? Why does it feel so different? It's the walls. Something about the walls feel off. Can I beat Plot Armor? That is the question. Has Violet trained me enough on this track to where I can overcome plot armor? Did I lose fire? I lost fire, shoot. This is easy to- Oh my gosh, that AI! Oh my... That AI screwed me over! No! The Coco Plot Armor wins! <laughs> no! <laughs> I had that! And then the AI pushed me over to hit the wall! <laughs> the AI pushed me back so I hit the wall! <laughs> I had that turn! I went out and everything! And right when I started turning, 
the AI hit me and pushed me back so that my turn was way too hard and hit the wall. I had that, and then Trey activated the plot armor. That a Dr. Entropy AI screwed me over. Trey activated the plot armor and switched to Coco, and it worked. <laughs> I 100% had that if that AI did not push me back just enough so that I turned too quickly. I'm going back to, wait, no, Inferno Island, we haven't raced on that one yet. Alright, Brian, to be fair, we don't really play on Retro Stadium. I'm used to the hitboxes of, um, what's that track called? Turbo Track. Wait, Trey left? Trey. They activated the plot armor so they could get a win and then they left. Oh wait, no, I received the invitation. Three times, win streak. How long was Riley? Right, don't act like I did not win like way more than that. <laughs> I won way more than three times in a row. You need to recheck how tournaments works, Violet. <laughs> That's not how tournament. Wait, what am I doing? That's not how tournaments work. I mean, that's not how a uh, point system works. You don't just get three wins and you're good. Out of all the races we have, I have a higher point system. Alright, time for me to activate that plot armor. After I get this golden wampa. Yes. Oh yeah! I got that plot armor alright. Now I just need one more plot armor and I'll be dang it to the item crate I was going for. Wait, you threw that forward? Why'd you wait, who crashed? Let's go, I got the plot armor. Cause whoever that was playing has crashed, they crashed. Trey sent me an invitation. I guess they want to settle it or something.
my question is if you know, they send me an invitation to race privately or in, in a, in a uh, in, in matchmaking, because I have to race matchmaking. I can't do any private races right now. I got 600 more points to go. Wait, is that all this does? Like everybody else is like shooting like crazy and the Liz is like, alright, just one shot. Okay, okay, Amy's going out of control. I mean Ami. <laughs> Ami's going out of control. You see these? <laughs> like dang, she's trying to kill people. She's trying to kill the crowd. Imagine winning with Ami and just shooting up the crowd. They're doing a custom race. I can't do custom races right now. Uh, I'll just send a message. I can't do custom races right now. What are the GP challenges can I do? I don't think I race on Tiger Temple today. That's at least 15 minutes to go. That's 250 minutes of playtime. 
or 20.8 hours. Um, I, I don't think that's the right math. <laughs> 250 minutes is in, in no way 20.8 hours. Because four hours is 240 minutes. ZXD. Oh, that's not the first time. They always end up in the lobby. But I don't know how you got 20.8 hours left. <laughs> It don't even take that long to get in the top five percent. On average, it takes me about like twelve to sixteen hours. I think I'm gonna have to leave the, leave this lobby though. As much as I want to take on ZX to D, like every single time I'm ever playing this game, I can't because I kind of need to take on easier opponents so I can get more wins. Can I not get rid? Oh, I was about to say. Wait. There we go. And before Violet says anything, so I'm pretty sure Violet is, but I can't read the chat right now. I don't care even if he's a good opponent. I really need points more than makes some good people right now. I'm not checking it out. I just know my priorities. And right now, points are my priority, not with beating somebody. And I know you're going to be like, but then just beat him. It's not that simple. See, against ZX to D, I know for an absolute fact I have to be at my top game on every single race. And I can't do that. And I might need to get a little bit lucky. No. Well, it looks like everybody got hit by that, so we're good. No! Will I make it? Will I be able to make it? Oh, and I think I'm good. Yeah, I should make it. Easy. The only reason I won is because I got a triple bomb. <laughs> That's literally the only reason I won that race, because I got item luck. <laughs> Jay Bandicoot sent me a message saying, good luck, bro. <laughs> I guess it's true. I guess we are brothers. <laughs> One win quit on him. One win quit?
I can't do it. Look, I, I tell you what, I'm just gonna go 50-50 because I'm pretty sure I'm losing this next race. And then I quit. I can't just throw one win quit on someone unless someone else in this lobby DCs all of us. That's the guy. He said 250 minutes. That's 20.8 hours of game. Yeah, maybe if the lobbies keep DCing like that. They usually do. Maybe it will be that fast. I mean, that long. You said that uh, get more points is more important than winning. Which is why I'm going to do two races then leave. I mean, how would you feel if I randomly ended up in the lobby with you by the one once and then just left? I don't stand by my own words. When did I say I'm a one-win quitter, huh? I never claimed to be a one-win quitter. Oh my gosh, what the heck? What was that wall? I almost fell off. Put a potion right there. Oh, I almost hit that potion. Hey, Violet, you know what's better than one win quitting? Two win quitting. Now that, now that I did better than ZX to D twice, now I'll quit. There wasn't a win. Okay. 1.8 win quitting. Okay. <laughs> I could have had to win by Chuck the first. Okay. First. I don't know this track. Don't forget this track is new and I haven't played for like the last month. <laughs> and I didn't know there was like a invisible wall right there. So I'm bound to make plenty of mistakes on that track. 
If you ask me, I think that, that was a pretty good run for someone that doesn't really know the track that much. I saw Deep Sea driving, so I had to leave immediately anyway. Actually, Violet, A students make mistakes because an A is higher than 90%. Does an A isn't on one hundred percent. And as far as I'm concerned, yes, I made a mistake. Not only one mistake. Out of the hundreds of mistakes you can make on that track. So I'm pretty sure that's still an A. Because that could have been way worse. I could have lost my fire on the second and third lap. I could have uh messed up the shortcut. I could have messed up my U-turns on that one part on the when you go inside that little opening. I, I I could have messed up on a ton of parts. Or that red potion. I could have hit that red potion. I could have messed up my U-turning and turned too quickly and fell fall off the track. I only made one mistake out of the hundreds of mistakes I could have made, which is still an A. You can still get an A in class. I mean, in uh, yeah, you can still get an A in your course without with making mistakes because an A can be achieved with mistakes. Now, if you're talking about an S rank, now you could just take that with the CTR league. I, I'm not in the CTR league, so I don't need to get an S rank. <laughs> I'm just a casual CTR player that don't know anything about competitive CTR. An innocent bystander who just plays the game for fun. And just so happens to be decent at the game. That's all I am. And then I decided other people had to have fun with the game too. So they need to learn how to play. So I made a guide and put on. Oh my gosh, my jump didn't work. in second at Rip River. Need to hit him with an item. Hopefully they don't got a missile. They're catching up. Can I make it in time? Let me throw a bomb right here. I don't think I made it. Hit them. Oh wait, they hit something. I may have hit them. I may have hit them. I don't know what they got hit by, but they hit something. Which is good. Now, just as long as I don't mess up, I win. And I somehow lost fire. Oh my gosh, the AI, chill out! I always gotta have missiles and stuff. But to be honest, by the, I was better than like 95% of the players in CTR before the first GP. And that was not a B performance. 
one mistake is not a beat performance. One mistake is an A performance. No mistakes is an S performance. Yes, it is an A because I I got I hit an invisible wall. That wasn't just falling off the track. I hit an invisible wall that forced me off track because it pushed me to the right. I was completely on stage and hit some random invisible wall that pushed me to the right against my will and threw me off the stage. Oh my gosh, what's wrong with people? Yes, yes, there is justice in this world. No, by that is not true because they got rid of the visible wall on Dragon Mines. Which means they should get a visible get rid of the visible walls on all tracks. That'd be like saying That'd be like taking a test. And then a teacher put some random question on there that that teacher never went over at all. And then everybody missed it. And then they still be like, oh, well, too bad. You all failed. Like, no. The teacher's got to waive that question. They did remove something because I drove in the exact same spot that I usually do. And I, I mean, that I sometimes I drive in and I didn't hit an invisible wall. There's some, you know, what, I'm done. I'm not, I'm not arguing with you anymore. I'm, I'm not continuing this argument. I'm here just to race, and you're distracting me from that race. I know what an A performance is, and I know one mistake is most definitely still an A performance. Please give me a shield. Oh no, I missed it. Oh, I should get this one. Alright, getting closer to a shield. Oh, wait, that's a person. I thought that was an AI. I guess no shield this race.
Dang, someone's going slower than the AI. I feel bad for them. Oh, there we go. The race is over, but finally you got the blue shield. Alright, bye. See ya. Good luck in whatever uh, end of us, future end of us you have to do. Well, wait a second. I did not read whoever, whoever that person's last name was, but I'm pretty sure that name should be banned. Don't they have sudden, sudden words in a band? Dang, so Violet's calculations are correct, which I'm not sure if I can believe those calculations completely, since Vix Violet said she said that the um, 240 minutes is 20 something hours. <laughs> But if, if they're right about 240 something minutes, then according to my calculations, that should be about four hours. Give or take in loading time, so five to six hours. So I uh, maybe should have over a thousand points by like, I don't know, two. But I did want to play this uh, yesterday, or last night, but I accidentally fell asleep. And then I didn't wake up until like 1 in the morning. And by then, that's I usually don't be live streaming at that time. And so I just woke up, watched some anime for like an hour and a half, then went back to sleep. Oh, 
Thank goodness that person shot those missiles before I came near them. Oh, my jump didn't work. They of course did like a nanosecond too late. Luckily I'm dipping on everybody. Man, I could have finished in less than a minute, 30 seconds. I could have. No, one thing I am happy about the CTR League though, got to race on like my top three favorite tracks in my last CTR League match. Polar Pass, Hot Air Skyway, and uh, Oxide Station. I think I'm doing pretty good though. The streaming for about two and a half hours, I've went up like 300 points. So then, if I go at the same rate, in about yeah, about five hours, four to five hours, I should be over a thousand. And then the GP ends, uh, what, I think Monday? So yeah, get to a thousand for today. And then grind the rest tomorrow. And prove that you don't need to play the entire month to get into the GP. You just need to play for like 12, one, not even a whole day. Like really just like 12 to 20 hours, just as long as you're decent at the game again, like the top three every race. It only take 12 to 20 hours. That's proving that, oh no, I touched the wall. It's gonna throw me, no, dang it. I lost this race. How did I touch that wall? Only way I'm winning now is everybody else's moves. Dang it, I missed the golden wall. Which can send the fact no one has passed me yet. Maybe they are.
Yeah, it looks like they all lost their fire. So that should have been passed by now. Though it does make me sad knowing this is the last GP. I was kinda hoping it would go on for at least a, you know, a year. Oh, let me not hit any walls. Okay, there we go. Oh, that poor soul fell. Did they hit a green red potion? Come on. I was on top of that whopper for how did I not get it? Why is it hitbox that delayed? Anyone else finish? There we go, I'm starting to finish. You know what sucks when you really think about it? Low key, you could get another race in if these loading screen times weren't this long. Because some tracks you can beat in like a minute 30 seconds, and the loading screen times, the two loading screen times that you had to go through between each race is, is like over a minute and a half. So in a way, if the loading screen times were so ridiculously long, you could low-key have a whole nother race. But then again, it is good for your fingers to have some break. Because if the loading screen was ridiculously fast and didn't have that much of a break, a lot of people's fingers would be in the same pain if they're playing this game at a top level. At least with the default control, I don't know um, how the alternate controls feel. And I never will because I've been playing CTR since the first one and I'm never going to change the controls. That's, that's like, when did the first one came out? 96? I probably played it like five, six years after it came out. So that's like, I don't know, almost two decades of muscle memory carved into my hands of playing the original CTR. So I, I can't just switch controls.
Wait, wait, no. CTR didn't come out in 1996. What am I talking about? <laughs> CTR. Oh my gosh. Someone always gets a missile in second place immediately. I don't understand. Shouldn't even be able to get a missile in second like that. Ah, uh, I screwed somebody over. That poor soul. Nope. Wait, I didn't get hit? Wow, that's a miracle. I blinked for a second expecting that I was getting hit by that pony, um, the thing, but I didn't. For once, the hitbox wasn't obnoxiously broken. Okay, I'm not gonna go for the shortcut this time. Because... I need way more practice for that short thing. The log didn't hit me? Yo, what is going on? That's the second time I went under the logs and I didn't get hit. This doesn't make sense. Oh my goodness! <laughs> oh, I don't, I don't think there's any way I was getting through that without getting hit. There was a potion, a nitro, two people, a blue shield. <laughs> like I felt like even if I would have dodged the potion and the nitro, somebody with the shield was going to hit me. It was like a whole wall of stuff like, no, you're, you're getting hit right now. No, that find so funny. The AI on that track, for some reason, like on their victory lap, always end up missing the big jump. Like the fire usually ends like right on the big jump, and they just fall. Like I see that every time. Maybe I don't have enough fire for the AI so they can make it. I don't know. But it's, it's very consistent. Well, I haven't seen that Velo skin. That looks pretty nice. It's like a dark wizard ice skin. What is that skin called? Blue Baron Velo? Yeah, 
freaking out. At first, I was sitting here like, a thousand points? It shouldn't be that hard to get a thousand points in one night. But then I'm like, I didn't think, you know what? It takes a long time to get a thousand points. Like, I mean, yeah, I've only been live streaming for almost three hours. And I'm probably like halfway there. But that's a lot of time to be racing. Man, why is this Coco so close to me? I know, I know you're my sister, but you don't have to be that close. Oh, I screwed up. Oh no, we got people teleporting. And why am I driving so close? Like, we started off right next to each other, and then I'm literally driving like right on. <laughs> Come on, give me a good defensive item. That's not a defensive item. Okay, good. The missile didn't trap me. Uh, please don't get a missile. Oh no, I missed that. Please don't get a missile. <laughs> Just get any item in the game besides a missile or warboard. Okay, good, they didn't get any missiles. Well, at least on the bright side, I may have to live stream for a long time to get at least a thousand points. But at least I got like more than 12 hours of sleep beforehand. Because <laughs> I did want to wake up early and, and play some before I started live streaming. But then I ended up like oversleeping. Because I was supposed to wake up at least like, I don't know. Eight, nine o'clock in the morning. I did, but then I turned my alarm off, and then I went back to sleep because I have nothing to do today. And then I ended up waking up at like three in the afternoon, and I'm like, well, shoot, there goes most of my day. <laughs> no! They left right when Bowler passed up here. The best track in the game! Alright, how many points do I have? Alright, I'm like halfway there in about two and a half hours. Uh, no, I'm not, no, I can't do it. I can't race on that track. That track is so poorly designed. But my bad. That's the wrong choice of words. That track isn't poorly designed. It isn't designed enough. It's way too simple. It looks like I'm about to leave again. 
Yep. Because people like bad tracks that aren't interesting, aren't unique. They like circles. The most simple circle you could ever do. That track is literally nothing against NASCAR drivers. But that track is literally a NASCAR track. <laughs> Just with jumps. And it's like the most luck based track in the game. You win and die by the items on that track. It's as simple as that. And that's not the type of race I want to have. I want items to help influence the race, but not completely decide the race. And a Koala Carnival, items completely decide the race. Because at least like on the other simple tracks like Crash Cove, you got some corners you can cut to set, kind of separate you from people who aren't good at the game. Bruise tubes is the same thing. Even Spiral Circuit you can like do something, but like a lot of carnival just like nothing. No shortcuts. No corners to cut. This is actually one of the corners if you try cutting it you hit an invisible wall. Though I still, Coral Convo still isn't my least favorite track in the game though, it's my second least favorite. Oh wait, no, 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 it should be third. Right. Thank you. Now I think Coral Convo is probably my third uh, least favorite track in the game. Least favorite goes to Spiral Circuit because screw teleporting, teleporting portals. Like you can't see items and people love to place items right on those portals, right after those portals. So you just come out of the portal and you smack by an item. And then I think my second least favorite is Deep City Driving, which is another track a lot of people like for some reason. I don't know why. Like, I would think it would be annoying to not be able to see the fans and end up getting smacked by it. Because the fans are like on a whole U-turn, but... Because of the camera angles, you can't see what's around the corner, so you can end up hitting the fan. But apparently people still love that track. I don't know if they're masochists or something. Whatever. Like, I can see why people like Koala Carnival, because it's a simple track. And most casual players would lean towards the simple tracks because they have a better chance of winning on those. But I just don't see how people like deep sea driving. Did this person just go in reverse? <laughs> they started going forward and then they went in reverse. <laughs> what the heck? That's so weird, I never see a lobby just crash like that with only two people. I guess that person must have had a bad internet connection or something, I don't know. But I do find that funny. But they went, they started moving forward, and then they went in reverse. As if they knew that they left the starting line. Actually, no, let me mark that. I'm gonna have to clip that. <laughs> like they they did that as if they they knew they left the starting line. Like, cause usually you see someone like just go forward and then that's it. No, that person went forward and then they backed up. <laughs> like they're like, oh wait, we weren't supposed to start yet. Okay, let me sit here.
Dang it! Dang, it's late. It's late at night. That's when all the rage critters start popping up. People who DC the lobbies for like for no reason and rage quit. If you play early in the morning in the afternoon, you don't see this happening. It's not hard to find a lobby. When you start playing in the evening, that's when people are like, oh, I don't like this track. I'm gonna cut shut down the entire lobby. Or like they'll leave in the middle of a race. Actually, all three of these tracks I like using the drift flags. I think, yeah, I think these are the only three track. Wait, no, no, there's five tracks I used to drift class on. These three, and then the turbo track, the slide coliseum. That person is using the basic cortex. Skin and cart. They may be J redeemed. They're also using a balanced cart, which means they may be new to the game. Because if anybody has any type of sense about the stats in this game, no, you should not choose the balanced cart because those stats are a lie and it's actually a worse version of the handling cart. Like, at least that handling cart has acceleration. The all rounded cart has no top speed, no acceleration, and worse handling than the handling cart. <laughs> like, I don't know how. I, I get that they're trying to make the game like the original, but. How could anyone think that's okay? <laughs> like, you can't have a cart that has no top speed and no acceleration. Like, this literally not a racing. They're just cruising. Like anybody who's playing this game for the first time, choose acceleration class. That's the true all-rounded class. That's the good beginner class. I don't know, this person's a good race, I'm not to leave this lobby. Oh my god! Rip oh, wait, I got it. Okay. <laughs> That's weird, I got the blue fire without touching the pad. Yeah, if this person's good at racing, I'm leaving the lobby because I don't feel like racing any people that's good right now. Because I've got a lot of points to get. Cortex Castle is one of the hard tracks, and they're doing this good. Yeah, <laughs> I, I'm not racing against that person. I need points. I don't have the time to be losing out on three points while having the opportunity to lose out on three points. Especially since this person is like moving at world record pace. Like that. Yeah, no. Nah. <laughs> this person is way better than me. Finishing in less than a minute, 50 seconds. Uh huh. <laughs> I'm leaving this lobby. <laughs> that person is way too good. I'm not gonna race in this lobby. Cause that's that's like guaranteed second every race, and I need points. Like a minute fifty seconds. That's that's almost world record. 
Like, is a world record like a minute 46 seconds or something? I don't know. But even in time trial, I've never, like, came close to a minute 50 seconds. Like, no, nah, I'm not racing that person. That person just plays this game for a living. And I need GP points. And that's that's a guaranteed second, like every race that they race in world record time. Nope, no thank you. As much as I would love to race that person, I I can't do that right now because I need GP points. And that price is on another level. That that legit right there is like world record pace. <laughs> Of course, it's faster on less than a minute and 50 seconds, like, that's world record <laughs> face. I'm not competing against that. Hold your horns, you, you are... That's a, you're on world record face on Cortex Castle. <laughs> what is world record on that track? Hold on, I, mean, I gotta look it up. I'm pretty sure that person is that far off from world record. Finishing in less than a minute and 50 seconds, like that's really, really good. Yeah, I think the world record is like a minute 46 seconds. So we might even be faster than that. The last time I seen it was uh, Jordy who has one minute 46 seconds, but he, he put, they put former world record, so. Someone beat it. Yeah, whether that's like barely faster or something, but 146, somebody beat that record. So, yeah, if that person finished in 149 in the online lobby, yeah. But Hold Your Horns is in here again? Nope. Hold your horns. <laughs> as much as I want to race you, I can't afford to. I need GP points. Oh my god. Can I not get in a different lobby? <laughs> uh, if it wasn't Polar Cats, I would have left. It's like this game won't let me just leave. I swear, if Hold Your Horns finished close to world record on this track too, I, I, I'm i leaving. <laughs> I cannot race against this right now. Well, what's even a world record on Polar Pass? Like a minute 52 seconds? I don't know. I don't remember. No, it's like 10, at least 10 seconds faster than my time, which is like 2 minutes and 3 seconds.
my jump didn't work. What was that game? Yeah, I'm leaving this line because I really don't feel like racing gives all your horns right now. They messed up the shortcut? What? They try to go for the other uh, shortcut without blue fire. I know you can do it. But that's the only thing I can think. Oh my gosh, they got triple bombs? Of course they did. Shoot. Oh good, I got you. That was like, I was pixels away from getting hit. Wait, everybody lost their fire? Let's go. No, where'd my fire go? Oh my gosh, and this person squished me. So I was kind of screwed over no matter what. <laughs> Even if I did keep my fire, I was going to get squished by that person, so... That's why I hate people in last place. They do nothing but get in your way. They can't just sit there and just accept the beat. No, they always gotta hit you with something. Always gotta get in the person in first place way and hit them with something so that they lose. Like, yeah, I get that. I was gonna lose anyway because um, I did lose fire right there for some reason. But still, even if I didn't lose fire, I, I would have got squished by them. So my sate was filled. No, I mean my what did I just say? My sate. Uh, oh my gosh! Huh? Words. My fate was sealed. No matter what I did back there. Either I was losing fire or I was getting squished. What did I do wrong that made me lose fire there? I should have. Oh wait, no, I didn't power slide around um, before the lake shortcut. I didn't power slide enough. That's what it was. I'm gonna vote for Kingo Canyon because no one votes for that track. It's not even a bad track.
Hold your- Oh my gosh, can you stop getting in the same lobby as me? <laughs> Let me race against some people that are not racing at world record pace. Hi right, dang, you can't be the only eight people racing right now. Switch to Japanese. <laughs> I don't even know how to switch servers if you can even do that in this game. I don't think you can do that without a different account or something. I'm just trying not to race hold your horns. This person, legit, was three seconds behind world record on Cortex Castle. Like, no. I'm not racing that. <laughs> I'm just trying to get points. I'm not trying to get a guaranteed 9 points or less every race. I need 12 points. And nobody's joining any rooms. Don't tell me that's, that's literally the only room that can race in. Oh my gosh, is that really the only room? I, I refuse to believe that in the entire con I mean the entire country There's no other rooms. I refuse to believe that. Especially since this claims there are 138,546 people. That have been playing online for the championship leaderboard. There is no way. Especially on a Saturday evening? A Saturday evening? Why they have the coronavirus thing going on? So people are just in their houses? I refuse to believe there's no open lobbies right now. That cannot be possible. My game must be bu bugged or something. My game has to be bugged or something. I don't know. He sent me a friend with us. I don't know who that is. That's not possible for me not to find a room. 10 in the evening. On a Saturday. Fasten your seatbelts for a over a hundred thousand people who have been playing this game online for this month. And you telling me I can't find a room online on the Saturday evening if everybody is stuck inside because of this coronavirus thing. That can't be possible. If there's 138,000 people online, I mean, 138,000 people competing in the, on the online thing, there has to be at least 100 people online right now. At least 100. Like, that's not even 1% of the people that's playing. <laughs> not even 1%.
Yeah, I may have to stop before a thousand points though. It's gonna be this hard to find a lobby though. <laughs> well, there's nothing I can do if I can't race against people online. So I don't want to stop here. But apparently ain't nobody exists anymore. Like everybody hit 10 o'clock and everybody died. Like I don't know what happened. Switch to the switch. Problem with that uh, Robotron is that um, it's not it's, it's not crossplay. So I need to get to a thousand points on my PS4. Yo, low key, it hit 10 o'clock and everybody died. I have not been able to find a TV room after 10 o'clock. There we go. There we go. Had me worried. I thought everybody like died at 10 or something. Like, legit, it hit 10 o'clock and I couldn't find a room. Like, everybody, it's like everyone who was playing CTR just got exterminated at 10 o'clock and I missed a memo or something. Everybody's East Coast, so the internet got shut off on the curfew. <laughs> Corona got them. What nobody knew was that the Corona was a planned virus and it just killed off everybody who had it at 10 o'clock p.m. five minutes ago. It was a computerized virus that was programmed to kill people off at 10 p.m. And that's what just happened. And that's why, like, no CTR players were playing for, like, a good five minutes. And the only people playing now are the survivors. Only me, SCR, Marley GM, and Biker Man. We were the only survivors. <laughs> and anybody watching the stream right now. Actually, no one. Uh, it's not guaranteed for anybody watching the stream to be alive. <laughs> well, I know Robotron is live, but Robotron is typing in the chat. But someone could easily turn on the stream and then got killed. <laughs> so not all my viewers are guaranteed to be alive right now if people just died for no reason. But that was kind of weird that it hit 10 o'clock. Like Sword Art. I wonder when they're gonna have the next season of Sword Art Online. I mean, the first season, the new arc they're in, the, the new arc that is in is actually pretty good. Like, there is something. I don't know what happened. But it's like Sword Art Online just stepped up its game. this right now. Let me get this penta off my back. Oh my Maybe I hit a wall and I didn't see, I don't know, but something is made Could have used the shield a lot sooner. Well, unless it's like a time clock or something, I got, I lost. Yeah, Robotron and Devil does look nice. 
Very simple though. Man, I lost 8 seconds on that second lap. Because I hit. I, I guess I must have hit the rope on the bridge or something. I don't know, like something forced my car just to jar over to the right and hit the rock. Like I must have just barely tapped the rope on the bridge. So I, I died, I was good, but all of a sudden my car was like, Err! straight to the right and hit the wall. I'm in the rock. So, if you had to ask me which level I think is probably the most beautiful and like the best looking level in the remaster, probably uh, Coco Park. Like all the cherry blossoms and stuff, just oh my gosh. Dang, would I be able to get a thousand points? So I'm only halfway there. But then again, for the last 20 minutes, I haven't been racing. So I got halfway there in about three hours. And so in another three hours, I should be like at least around 800 to 900. That is if I don't run into any more lobby issues. But at night, that's when the lobby issues start picking up because people like rage quitting all the time. Oh wait, I'm the host of the lobby? Alright, we should be good then. Yes, that's exactly what I need. And just keep on giving me shields, games. I'm, why'd I say games? <laughs> keep on giving me shields, game. Be on my side, please. Oh no! Did I get the cuck of the potion? I think I did. Let's go, let's move them over. Definitely do not want to touch a red potion, that's death. Yes, the Penta hit the red potion. Victory is as good as mine. 
They didn't see it. Wow, why did I just jump so high? Have I ever used multi twitch to TV before? No. I um because I usually watch Twitch on like my iPad or my PS4. I don't really use watch it on my PC, because I don't really have a good PC. Oh. <laughs> um, I do watch like the squad streams they have though. So I do know they be having squad streams which allow you to watch like multiple things like on your iPad or whatever. And then I wish they've added any new pickups. Um, no, not really. Because the, the one reason I like CTR more than any other kart racing games because it's more skill based than luck based and by adding more items that makes the game more luck based and I did not like that especially since it's like a randomized item thing like Mario Kart I mean uh, I do enjoy that they did a um, balance we they patched the items and changed their item rates but that definitely made the game better Cause, oh my gosh, when this game first came out, it was item hell. Like, legit, you get like three warp orbs chasing you at once, and a time clock, and then get like five more warp orbs, and like two more time clocks in one race. And I was like, this is just stupid. <laughs> like, they clearly did not think that through. There's no reason you should have that many warp forms and time clocks in one race. And now they nerfed that, those items to where the time clock and warp orb almost do not exist anymore. Which is great! They shouldn't. Those items aren't fair. Like, TNT, potions, missiles, shield, bomb, like all that, it's okay. Aku, that, that's all okay. But like, warp orb and the clock, they just should not be in the game because they're not fair at all. The time clock because it doesn't give any type of warning. Like maybe if there was a small warning, like in um, and like in the Sonic Kart racing games, that those items like you know goes off in front of you, or they might be like a spark on your car or something. They at least give you like a one second warning before it happens, so you can like you know correct your angle and not fly off the track. But on this game, the time clock literally just goes off. You can't prepare for it. You're just gonna get hit by it. it oh my gosh. People can't race on good tracks, they all leave. But um, the time clock, you can't prepare for it. It just goes off and you're screwed over. It's as simple as that. Nothing you can do. Like maybe if the, it had like the clock icon that, you know, that shows up when you're in the middle of it. Like maybe if that popped up like a second or two faster than the actual attack, it would be all right. But just going off randomly, like no, it's not okay. You should never have an item like that that goes off without any type of warning. Like at least the four orb. As much as I hate that item, at least you have a warning that it's gonna come and hit you. Like you can see it on the map, and then you have a cur cursor. Now, of course, that item is complete BS and should not exist unless it's the uh, juiced up version. Because the juiced up version is fair because it goes after everybody. The regular version is not fair because it only goes after the first. And, like, I've always hated the blue shell in Mario Kart. I hate the warp orb in this game. Like, any item. That is someone in last you just get and just chuck at first for free is this not fair at all and should not exist because I'm sorry the person in first more than likely earned their way to first and they should just get screwed over by some random luck from some eighth person in last place chucking a random item like 
uh, blue shell or warp orb or whatever item that's like that, it should never exist. It's not fair for the game. It's not fair for the person at first. And all the only people who actually like that item are people who are bad at the game. I mean, I don't want to, don't want to offend anybody, but that's just a fact. If you really like the warp orb, you're more than likely not good at the game. <laughs> it's as simple as that, because you just want to cause chaos. But anybody who like you know actually likes coming in first, they more than likely hate that item. And so the only time I think the warp orb is fair is when it's juiced up, and because when it's juiced up, that means it goes after everybody. Which in that case, it's fair because everybody has to share the pain in them. And the person that's in last benefits from it. That's fair. But only going after first, that's not fair at all. So if it, that'd be okay to work or but they just change it to where it always goes after everybody. But it should never go after just first. And for any future racing games, anybody ever thinking about creating future racing games, if you, please don't put in an item like that, but if you do, at least make it go after everybody, so it's fair. Do I think they'll update that? No. Because they're trying to keep it close to the original, and so they're never going to change that. They did update it though. Oh, they changed the warp orb to where it flies stupidly fast now. Because it used to move at the speed it used to in the old game, so I could just outrun it for a long time. But now it moves like at the speed of light, so you can't really outrun it anymore. Which, at first I hated it, because like, they hit people or whatever, but now I'm like, whatever. Any items? Yep. People love putting items on those shortcuts. Gonna make sure that other crash band you don't hit. Cause people in last place love to hit you. It's like, I don't want to get left. I gotta smack them. I don't care if I get last. I just gotta smack first at all costs. Oh wait, that was an AI? Even worse. So they made the game work. Uh, not necessarily. Well, yes and no. But I do know for sure that, well actually, not including the first day the game came out. But the first day this game came out, online wasn't even playable. Like, you try going online and, like, everybody just instantly DCs. The second day, though, online was, like, pretty good because I never ran into any problems, like, getting put in the wrong place or stuff like that. But then, like, the first GP, they kind of did an update that kind of ruined the game. And that's when all the weird glitches online started happening. Where I started seeing more laggy people, more um, items hitting me that weren't hitting me. More me getting first and then just suddenly getting put in last place and getting no points and stuff. But then, no, nah, no. Nah, overall, th I think it is better now than it was initially, though, because yes, they made the warp orb faster, but it doesn't really appear at all anymore. Like, I only see it in like one out of every 20 races. Like, a warp orb, a clock, I only see. One out of every 20 races, if I'm having a bad day, like 3 out of 10 races, they don't really appear. So, they, they got rid of my biggest problem, which was those... Because at the beginning of the game, you would just be racing and you would have like 20 warp orbs chasing you at the end of every single racetrack, and it was stupid. <laughs> But now you only, it's like, if you only got to see like one, maybe two if you're on the unlucky race. 
So, um, they do gotta, there's still some things they should fix though, like, have dedicated servers instead of peer-to-peer -peer lobbies, because I'm tired of getting smacked by items that were nowhere near me. And then, if they're gonna keep the peer-to-peer -peer server, they should have host migration, because there's just some hosts that just... They're like, oh, a track got everybody voted for a track I don't like. Too bad, and then they they close the whole lobby, and it's like, well, dang. Like just because one person don't like a track, should not give them the right to close the whole lobby and force everybody else not to be able to race on that track. They should just switch the host to somebody else. Like that's not fair. And I'm not sure if they fixed this one yet. But for some dumb reason, if someone leaves in the last 10 seconds, it just shuts down the whole lobby. <laughs> so that's another problem. And some people were doing it on purpose. Because, you know, people like trolling. And they're like, oh, you're going to choose a track I don't like? Well, no one can race on it. Haha, <laughs> so I can leave in the last 10 seconds to DC everybody. I hope they fix that. It's been an issue for months now. I haven't played in like a month though, so maybe they fixed it. And why did I not not get any items? I'm screwed! I don't like this track simply because it's, if you ask me, it's known as Item Hill The Track. The beginning of the race is solely dependent on who gets the best items. Because that one turbo pad gives you the ultimate sake of fire, which makes you go way faster. And you kind of need it. Because <laughs> as you can see, I'm just passing everybody because the speed is broken. Oh my gosh, and then I got hit by lag. Because <laughs> ain't nobody hit me at that angle. I know for an absolute fact that's an impossible angle of someone to hit me with. hit me in in a real in a local match. <laughs> that straight up was lag. This person has the audacity to hit me for missile and it's not past me so I can shoot them back. Trolls! This dude's literally a troll. But yeah, this is why this track is trash. I'm way better than like everybody in this lobby, but this track is so luck based in the very beginning it puts you so far behind <laughs> that it's so impossible to catch up because they got one stupid boost pad that everybody has to make a beeline for at the very beginning and if you're not lucky to get, get that boost pad without getting hit you're like screwed over and put very far behind. While all the people who batted the game just all smack you with items while you struggle to catch up. Poor level design, if you ask me. You should never have a, something like that where everybody has to rush towards one thing and get it to hope to win the race. <laughs> and it's completely decided by luck about on who gets past it or not. You need to get squished, sir. Like, you can see all these people that's so far ahead, all from literally the first lap. <laughs> okay, what invisible wall did I just hit up in the air? Because you can clearly see the people that's all behind me aren't good, and I'm like easily leaving them in the dust without even having to use items. Like, <laughs> straight up, I got fifth place just because the very beginning of the race. That track is in my top five least favorite tracks in the game. Like if they had a 
the boost pad somewhere else, it'd be fine, but I only have that one boost pad, and it's the very first one. And you just got those item crates, like, right there before it. And so everybody got to and it's not even, it's not even like it's a wide boost pad either. It's literally like in a small little corner. And so literally everybody is congested in a small little corner at the very beginning of the race with item hell. And whoever gets lucky gets out of it and leaves everyone else in the dust. Maybe first, second, third could get out while everybody else like kills each other in that little corner. And have to struggle to try to catch up, which isn't going to happen because everybody's going to continue killing each other. <laughs> you like how that dino's from Double Death? You can't have a prehistoric racetrack without having that dinosaur there. So Double Dash track, oh my gosh, I remember the bridge on that track. I don't know what is wrong with the bridge physics in Double Dash, but you can not turn on bridges. Like, if you try to turn on a bridge, you're guaranteed to fly off the track. And if you don't have yourself going at a straight angle on the bridge, you're guaranteed to fly off the track. Cause like some of the bridges on that game, it, it, I guess like they just throw you in the air like so often that when you try turning, it doesn't work. <laughs> Cause a double dash, I don't think you can really turn your cart that much in the air. Like this game, is another reason I like it. You can turn your cart like a whole 180 in the in the air if you want to. I hate, really hate when I accidentally press the item button at the same time I get the item. Shoot, I missed the boost pad. I remember I was at school racing. Oh, I cannot forget about my green potion. I remember I was at school based on this track, and everybody saw me do that shortcut, and they're like, "What the heck?" And then they're like, "How is anyone supposed to know about that?" And I was like, "Well, do you look?" <laughs> well, a lot of these shortcuts aren't really like super well hit. Okay, maybe that one you want to think of. Never mind. Yeah. Never mind, that shortcut you probably wouldn't think of unless you're insane. <laughs> but a lot of these shortcuts aren't that hard to find if you just, you know, look. Dang it, I smacked the wall. And not. This is why I hate AI. I have nothing to do with the race, and they hit me. Wait, no, that's a person? Nah, screw you! <laughs> just stay in last place and start trying to screw me over. Oh my god! Oh my god! I literally just got. Oh my gosh. Literally lost because of stupid item luck. It wasn't. Hold oh, on, huh, I need to look at the stream. That was BS! There was no one behind me! How the hell did a warp orb pop up at point blank range? There was no one behind me. 
like, what the hell was that? I looked back at the stream, there was no one behind me! And then the, the one person that was near me fell off the track! How the hell did a warp or pop up at point blank range over the shortcut on top of that? Oh my gosh. I legit just got robbed. <laughs> there was no reason for me to lose that race. Person in last place shot a missile at me, and then some somehow there was a miracle warp orb that popped up and hit me in a, in half a second at that. Half a second, like it it did it didn't even spawn. Like I legit just got smacked by a warp orb. It didn't even spawn. Like nah, that that's some that's some plot anti plot armor or something like. What the heck was that? Like, there, that did not come from somebody. There was no one close enough to me for that to happen. The one person that was close to me, I saw spawning. They were spawning from the Aku Aku because they fell off the track. So they couldn't throw an item at me. Like, I'm really gonna have to look at that replay now. <laughs> See, like, what the heck did I just get hit by? Actually, wait, hold on. Like, I'm really about to have to analyze this to see what, who shot that warp orb. Cause like, it did... If I can even see it on the map on, at that, because that warp orb literally popped up for not even half a second. <laughs> like, legit, it spawned hitting me. Like, it was so fast, it was as if somebody was over the shortcut right on top of my body and just shot it, and there's like, nobody else on over the shortcut. <laughs> like, I don't understand how that warp orb just hit me like that. It was beyond stupidly insanely fast, like, no one could react to it. It literally spawned hitting me. Like, that, that literally is the definition of getting Mario Kart 8. <laughs> Mario Kart 8 it. Like, that's what just happened. Like, there was no reason at all I should have lost that race. Wait, what happened to everybody else? <laughs> I mean, I got no problems with it, but... Y'all gonna let me get a lead that easily? Oh no, never mind, another war board. This is stupid. They shouldn't be popping up this many times in a single day. I don't care how bad my item luck is, this should not be that many warp ores popping up in a row in a single day. 
I know I got bad item luck, but not that bad. Is this in Trophy the only human player? This is another war war? What the hell? <laughs> what is wrong with today? This is ridiculous. There's been way too many war warps today. I legit had three warp orbs go after me within the span of the last three minutes. <laughs> three to five minutes. That is not okay. That's almost on the level of pre the game pre-patched. Of course the game pre-patch would have had two times that plus clocks, but still, that is not okay. What is somebody doing? Just camping and last, just going over item crates repeatedly just until they get a warp orb or something? Three warp orbs in the span of the last five minutes. I've been live streaming for it. Three hours and fifty minutes. You know how many warp orbs I've seen before that? Like maybe one. And, and I think one time clock. And I legit just got hit by three warp orbs within the span of the last five minutes. That is not normal. That should not happen. It must be because I was just talking about how, how stupid war folks are, so now the game is like trying to make me regret saying that. Which I'm. If, I, if the game is listening to me, by sending more war folks at me, you're only further cementing how much I hate that item. I'm so mad that that cart is locked behind a paywall. Like, that's the most stupid DLC practice I've ever seen in my life. I get... That cart is so impossible to get. It's not just a paywall, like... You gotta live in a specific... country... That country being the U.S. and specific states, which I know that Nevada is not one of them, but not being specific states and specific cities to have whatever that cable company is, and you have to have a subscription with that cable company to get that card. That's the only way. That is by far the most dumb DLC I have ever seen in my life. It's not even like everybody can get it. Like only a specific group of people can get the DLC and that's not fair at all. Especially for a cart that looks awesome like that. Oh, I meant to throw that backwards.
Please give me some things I can use to hit this person. So I'll be so upset if they end up winning just because of a uh, green shield at the very beginning of the race. I think I might be catching up to them. Ah, uh, they got a blue shield. Oh my gosh. Hey, people get lucky like that. I can never get that lucky. Hope they run into their own night real quick. Am I catching up to them? I, I can't tell. Oh, they threw the blue shield for some stupid reason. But for some, but I accidentally lost my fire though. Uh, I'm like right behind him. Oh my gosh. Makes me so sad though. This person legit won because they got lucky and got a green shield at the very beginning of the race. And just gave him a good lead. Now that's how this game is. People at close in skill level is literally decided in the first five seconds of the game every single time. Not even just at this close skill level. The person just barely not just barely below the skill level of the other person and they got a good item to begin the race, they won. Why don't I trade my item every time? Because the uh, item, I mean, the game doesn't like me. I'm just going to end up getting the same bad items every time. And I also don't want to place an item in a spot that I may be driving in on the next lap. Because I have a habit of hitting my own items on the next lap. And then sometimes if you get a bomb, you may want to just keep it because you might need, need to throw that bomb to blow up an item in front of you. Because your chances of getting a missile, like my chance, my bad. Other people's chances of getting missiles are pretty fine. My chances of getting missiles are near impossible. But think about how many missiles you've seen me get in the last couple of races. Exactly. I don't really get misses. <laughs> and the only way I was really um catching up to that person, like if I didn't hit that wall, the only time I'm the only way I'm catching up to that person is if I get a, a juiced up missile. And so I was trying to get I was focusing on the Wampa crates first. Because a regular missile can't hit somebody on that track. You have to have a juiced up missile. Uh, if you're wondering uh, how long I've been live streaming, uh, 3 hours, 57 minutes, and 32 seconds. Uh, it's not that much. I mean, well, yeah, it's about to start being much.
So I, on average, I usually stream. Actually, no, never mind. No, back when I first started live stream, I usually stream for about four hours. But now I've only been live streaming for about three hours. Usually three to four hours is how long I live stream. Not including yesterday or the day before though, but like I was at the end of Fire Emblem Three Houses Crimson Rose path, so I was like, I need to beat this game. And those battles were so long. I can only imagine the longest taking me I mean the battles taking me longer once I play on Madden and get cool. Cause I was on um, playing on um just on hard, because that was my first playthrough. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I most definitely just hit a wall right there. <laughs> just put me in third place. I had the whole lead and everything. <laughs> and then hit some random invisible wall that didn't exist. Why is there even an invisible wall right there? <laughs> Did I get him? Like I know there's an invisible wall like right there. But this should not have been should not have been an invisible wall on that ramp. Like that was just dumb. <laughs> Why is there a visible wall right there? Why? Now I am thinking I'm just gonna go off a ramp like any regular person and I'm getting smacked by a wall. <laughs> I was literally just lost because of a visible wall. That wall killed all of my fire. It was, it was right after the the ultimate second fire pad too. I had to lead. I thought everything's going fine, and out of nowhere, I got smacked by an invisible wall and just stopped, and everybody passed me. Oh, that is disappointing. This is, I don't know why there's an invisible wall on the ramp. A ramp. Usually the invisible walls in there are like walls, but no, that was a ramp that you're supposed to jump off of. And I hit an invisible wall and just stopped. Yeah. Hi, the Amber Mustache. Wait, I know what happened. I remember. At 10 o'clock, that's when... Um, 10 o'clock, that's when all of a sudden I couldn't find lobbies, right? <laughs> At 10 o'clock, my specific... Uh, game got sent to another dimension where BS happens. Because <laughs> everything was fine in, until 10 o'clock hit. It hit 10 o'clock, I couldn't find lobbies, and now there's like warp orbs all over the place. And I'm hitting an invisible wall on a ramp that you're supposed to jump off. Of. <laughs> and all the lobbies are crashing. People keep quitting like every race. Oh man, 10 o'clock is like the bad hour. 
everything is good until after 10 o'clock the game becomes trash. <laughs> Everybody leaves like after one race, it's impossible to find lobbies, you get hit by warp herbs and everything all of a sudden, invisible walls everywhere that weren't there. Note to self. Today is an exception because I need to get to at least a thousand points for um, my goal for today. I mean, maybe 900, I don't know about a thousand. If the, if the games I keep seeing everybody like this. But uh, I need to get up there in points. Hey, Robotron, don't say it like that. Making it sound like I, I'm like a 40-year-old living in their parents' basement. I am 23. Going to college full-time and working full-time. So I, I don't make it sound like that. Yes, I'm a true gamer, but I'm not like, <laughs> you made it sound so bad. <laughs> he still lives in his parents' dungeon and everything. <laughs> you make it sound like I live in a basement. This, basements don't even exist here. And if, they, if someone does have a basement, they have to go out of their way to make a basement. There's no basements in this desert city. Heck, if we did have a basement, I would never want to go and shoot. Going underground to get something? Nah, screw that. I'd rather be in the attic. At least the attic, you can see outside. Basement's just dark. I swear, everything that's bad that can happen started happen after the 10 o'clock mark. Look at this. Hey, who's sitting there just mashing the X button like this? Like, you hear that? Like, someone's just mashing the X button like that. How could it- they're doing it so consistently, that's the scary part. They're like... But it isn't like it's a, a short tap, it's like they have a specific- No, that, that can't be a car, is it? There's no way that's someone's car, that's a little too consistent. You know, I should just leave. But I don't know who, whoever was doing that. Like, be, uh, 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 like I don't know how they're repping their gas that consistently. That that had to have been someone at DC because I refuse to believe someone was actually that consistent at repping their gas. <laughs> Alright, so 10 o'clock was the hour where everybody started doing, I mean, a bunch of stupid things start happening to my stream. Can 11 o'clock be the hour where everything goes back to how it was before 10 o'clock? Because, like, this is seriously putting the hamper on my score. <laughs> like, I've only been up 100 points. In like the last hour. 
if all this stupid DC and all that stuff when it wasn't happening, I would have been at least like a 690, 700 by by now. If it was going at the rate it was before it like to hit 10 o'clock. I would have been near 700 at least. That person just left. Yeah, they still have that glitch. Oh my gosh, they've had this glitch for like months now. Why can't they fix it? Not, not many months, half a year. And I know people have been complaining about it 24-7. Jake from Oregon has left your game. That's alright, we didn't need Jake from Oregon. We need Jake from State Farm. Everybody knows that. Jake from State Farm is the only one you need. Wait, now that I think about it, I mean, I don't really watch TV that much anymore because, like, all the big shows I used to watch stop airing. But, um, do they even, do they even have the same person for those State Farm commercials? Jake from State Farm? They took Jake from State Farm out of the State Farm commercials. The commercials won't be the same. It just won't be there. It won't be good. Same with the progressive commercials. If they took um, what was her name, Flo or something like that, they took her out of the progressive um commercials. It just won't be the same. Well, I remember um, long time ago, it was like only during the summer, and I think it was because they were trying to promote Sonic, the first Sonic All Stars racing. But I remember in one of the progressive commercials. Like, Sonic was just running around looking for car insurance, and it was playing like the Super Sonic music from like, Sonic 3. <laughs> I was like, yo, this is the best commercial ever. Best non-video game commercial ever, but it had like a video game character in it, but it was still like advertising progressive. Like, I did not see that coming. And anybody said they saw that coming, they're lying. There's no way you... Saw Sonic working with Progressive to do a car, uh, car insurance commercial. Oh my gosh. I don't never understand why in kart racing games everybody literally jumps one person. Like they already got hit, you're already passing them. Why are you still hitting them? Like that's dumb as hell. <laughs> like just go after the person in front of you, not the person who clearly just got hit and has not a threat at all. Like everybody and their mother just decides, oh one dude got hit, let's jump that fool. Like, the heck? Now I'm not gonna catch up. This crunch probably won now. Because everybody and their mother had to jump me. Put me so far behind. wasn't bad enough that I got hit by the crunch player, everybody else had to get their licks in.
Now I gotta work so hard just to get second place because first is like way out of the question now. See you later, Robotron. Yeah, I could have beat this person if I didn't get jump in the beginning of the race. But my my time is late. My average time would be way faster than two minutes. But eh, what can you do? Sometimes you just gotta get jumped. I just wonder what goes through a person's mind. Cause like I legit have never jumped. No, I think I've only jumped somebody like once. And that's cause I was just like done with the game. So I I saw someone that already got hit, and I went out of my way to hit them, which made me lose my time. That would have been a lot faster if I didn't hit them. Like that's the thing, you actually gotta go out of your way to hit somebody. Cause most of the time they got hit, they got sent off track. Which means for you to hit them again, you have to purposely steer your cart in a way that's going off track to throw your item at them. <laughs> and like it's so weird how consistently people jump people. Like it's like why? Why, what makes people like, oh, I just seen that person get hit. Now let me get in on it and hit them too. If I see someone get hit, I'm like, all right, good. They're out of my way. Now let me go after the person in front of me. Not that person, because that person's no longer a threat. They got hit. They lost all their speed. They fell into the corner. Now let me use my item to hit the person in front of me so I can take their spot, you know, move up the position list instead of smacking somebody who already got smacked that I'm already passing so that they just sit there and, and they fall farther down and they're not doing anything to me. But I'm going to stay in the exact same place and I'm already in though. Like, no, that makes no sense. And logically, it's a flawed viewpoint. Like, if you're trying to win, you're not going to go after someone that's already already losing to you. Like, no. You gotta go after the person that's the closest to your vicinity to making you not win. And that's the person in front of you? Or if you're first, the person behind you. I'm surprised no one tried to activate the trap. That person really got an Aqua Aqua mask. But look at me, fifth place. I ain't getting anything useful for fifth place. So if I don't get any freaking hockey, I'm about to be so mad. What the heck is this?
Why the hell is literally everybody in the world getting Akus and I'm over here seven and I'm not getting anything of use? Thank you. Base is already over now. Dang, I always want to give me everything once the race is over. It's so dumb. Better give me another Aku, just like everybody else and their mother. Oh my god, screw this game. Everybody else, and it's giving me a TNT in fifth place. See, this is why items are just dumb as hell sometimes. Everybody else got uh, like 50,000 Akus this race. And for some reason, I, I'm over here in last. <laughs> I was in last for half the race and I only get one Aku. Yet, literally, people in third and fourth were getting Aku. How? How? I was in last. Eighth place don't count because that was an AI. I was in last place because everybody just jumped me with items and everybody got Akus. Yet I don't get Akus and I'm in last. <laughs> Third, fourth, fifth, sixth all kept getting Akus and I'm just sitting here like Okay, I guess I just take seventh then. Like, no. What the heck was that? <laughs> like, everybody else in this lobby legit got part armor. There's no other explanation. Like, I've never seen that many people of Aquas in one race. But it wasn't like they just got it once. I caused, like, the almost the entire race there was someone near me with an Aqua. <laughs> like, how does that happen? Like, third and fourth shouldn't even be able to get an Aku in the first place. And then, like, fifth and sixth should have a low chance of getting it, and then seventh and eighth should have a higher chance of getting it. But there's no reason third and or fourth should be able to get an Aku. First, second, third, and fourth should not be able to get an Aku. At all. <laughs> I don't care even if there's just four racers and the person in fourth is getting dipped on. They should not be able to get an Aku. Because I've raced in 2v2s and Akus are broken in 2v2s. It's like, you straight up just. Just go faster than everybody and just smack the person out of your way. There's nothing they can do about it. Alright, please don't let any stupid item BS happen like that again. And please don't do what it did last time where for some dumb... Wow. I got a shield up and I still managed to get hit. That doesn't prove this game hates me, I don't know what does. Ah, so close. Oh, they're actually going through the shortcut. Did not see that coming. Wow, 
Wait, how'd they catch up? So fast. <laughs> when I had fun. Okay. I mean, they choked and fell off the track, so whatever. And whoever placed that TNT crate, that's a mindset fail. Like, how did you place it below the shortcut? <laughs> See, now that race, a less stupid item look. BS. And look what happened. I was guaranteed to get top three without stupid item BS. I mean, I was most likely going to get second, but then that person choked for some reason and just fell off the track. Which I don't know how they did that on that part of the track. But. No stupid item BS, instant top three. I don't know how in the world everybody got authors. Please tell me I still got the points. So whoever was the host of the lobby just rage quit. <laughs> I bet I still got in those points. See, this is why you should never play after 10 o'clock. I swear, if you play after 10 o'clock Pacific time, that's when all the stupid things start happening. That's when you've got the constant rage quitters that keep DC in lobbies. That's where the items start doing some weird things. It's after 10, after 10 p.m. Pacific time. Everything weird starts happening. It's guaranteed. Mm -hmm. Everything was going fine until the 10 o'clock mention attack. It's, it's like, it's kind of similar to Splatoon, but in a different way. Like, this game, after like 10 o'clock, that's where all the people that rage quit and stuff show up. And stupid things happen, like the items being out of whack. Or like everybody getting triple missiles or, or offers all the time. And I remember whenever I played Splatoon, it's like right after, I want to say right after 1 a.m. If for some reason you're still playing that long, that's when like all the godlike players come out. <laughs> like, unless you're really good at Splatoon, I mean, I know I was pretty good, but I was not like tournament level good, but I was like up there because I know I got the S plus or X rank depending on the game. But like, <laughs> after one o'clock, that's when the, the Splatoon ninjas came out. Like, <laughs> it, it hit 1 a.m. and all of a sudden you, it, you, you saw those snipers that like never aimed at you, but like if you took one step out from a wall, you instant got shot. Like they knew exactly where you are 24 7. They knew the nanosecond you were gonna step out that wall. <laughs> That's when you saw like the rollers that just legit be swimming through your ink and just pop up and just kill you. <laughs> That's when you had uh, the people, the, the dualies that like. Be a dodge rolling 24/7. That's when the people with the umbrellas just have umbrellas that never could break. Like <laughs> you playing Splatoon after one, hey, one in the morning, you you about to be running to the most crazy thing, <laughs> and it's not because you're tired. Like there was some legit crazy shenanigans going on at one.
So I guess this game's time for the crazy stuff to happen is 10 o'clock, 10 a.m. Like every game has that. Except for maybe Smash Bros. Actually, no, 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 never mind. I remember there was this one time I fought the Shulk online that I swear it jumped like three times. What time was that? That was like at 3 in the morning. I normally don't play online that long, so that must have been it. The Smash Bros, it must be 3 in the morning. Like, there, there's a guaranteed time where, like, the craziest things will happen in the game. Someone rage quit, I tell you. After 10 p.m. I didn't see anybody rage quitting until 10 p.m. hit. Please tell me that's the person that was in first and I just I screwed them over. Who is that? Is that a chicken? Let's go! Let's go! I screwed them over. I think that my potion I placed inside the short that got him. Let's go! Took the lead. Or maybe, actually no, I don't think my potion hit them. I think they got hit by an AI. I know the AI loved to gang up on whoever's in first. That guy cheated out of first because of that plenty of times. I don't know. Either the person first hit my red potion and... Wait. No, 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 because I saw, I saw them like respawning before that section. So no, no, they, yeah, they got jumped by the AI. <laughs> Or like missed a shortcut or something. But yeah, I, I swear. Every online game, there's like a certain time period that you need to just not play anymore. That's that's when the crazy stuff start happening. It's 10 a. Uh, it looks like 10 p.m. for Crash Team Racing. On Splatoon, it was like after 1 a.m. The Smash Bros, I'm not sure, but maybe 3 a.m. I never really seen that many crazy things in Smash Bros. But like I I think maybe after 3 a.m. for Smash Bros. I do remember it. Like it was this one time I was playing very late at night and I I swear I saw a Shulk jump three times. I mean maybe I was just tired, I don't know, but I swear he jumped three times. <laughs> I got hit by forward air, jump forward air, jump forward air, and then he somehow, like, yeah, be forward air, jump forward air, jump forward air, me all stage, and I died off at the corner of the stage, and he still managed to somehow up B back to the stage. <laughs> you can best believe, like, I turned off my game after that, because I was all like, yeah, I need to go to sleep. <laughs> the dude just jumped three times, forward, like he was Jigglypuff or something. Forward air me like three times off stage, jump three times off stage without the jump monado, and somehow still managed to up beat and make it back to the ledge. <laughs> like, yeah, I, I was done that day. I was not no longer playing Smash Bros. after that. <laughs> I was like, I, I need to go to sleep. I don't know whether that dude was hacking or maybe, maybe I'm just, I was just tripping because it was like three in the morning. And maybe I was tired. I don't know. But what I saw was something that I never want to see again in Smash Bros. Like that was <laughs> that was something else. What's the time for Mario Kart 8? Oh wait, my bad. There isn't no time. Because that game is BS all the time. <laughs> I, I swear I tried playing Mario Kart 8. I tried so hard for months. I was like, maybe I'm just bad at this game. Maybe there's a way, but it did not matter what I did. Every time I came close to winning, it was it was guaranteed a blue shell. Like that game didn't refuse to let me win. <laughs> I was like, yeah, but Mario Kart 8 is not my game. It's way too luck based. And then the items suck in that game too. Like the mushroom and the star, they don't do anything. That's where I was right next to someone who used a mushroom, and they didn't. They were going the same speed as me. They didn't use a mushroom or anything. I 
Oh yeah, yeah, I'm messing up badly. Oh, and then um, on top of that, another reason I don't like Mario Kart is that a lot of the shortcuts you need the item to take, which is dumb as hell. Just a shortcut, you should be able to take it off skill, nothing else. Okay, so you actually can get that without touching the boost pad. That's weird. Makes me wonder if the hitbox actually is the bridge itself. <laughs> That's the second time I got that boost without touching the boost pad. Sorry, Spider-Man. I had to take you out of the race. Where did my fire go? They didn't hit me! Oh my gosh, this game be on maximum BS! I passed them way before they threw that potion! Great, I just lost because of stupid BS. The dumb her are gonna go after me and somehow hit me with a potion. Did they drop behind him at that? I'm telling you, only after 10 o'clock. Because I was not getting hit by no stupid item lag that badly after 10 o'clock. So I, I, that literally is the definition of lag. There's really, no other way to see it. Because on my screen, I clearly passed that person with blue fire and they didn't. Which means I was a good distance from them before they could have dropped that potion. Yet I somehow still got hit by it. Which means on their screen, because of lag, I was somehow near them. And they just hit me with it. Like my the AI version of me like got stuck on their car or something, and so they just threw the potion and it hit. <laughs> Cause as far as I'm concerned, I've been past that person before they dropped that potion. Cause I passed them and then I heard the sound of the potion, and then I got hit. I know there's no way they sniped me with that potion by throwing a forward around the corner like that. <laughs> Because that, for that to happen, they had to throw the potion through the wall. Because I was all the way around the corner and they were still by the spider. Man, that, that stupid para. And then they got third too, so it wasn't like they were going to win either. They just smacked me and made me lose first. That pair of lost, they lost their fire. They were out of the race. And then, of course, like always. Uh, I think that person that left was the person who won, too. They were one win quitter. That's the worst type of people. I'm telling you, after 10 o'clock, like. It's about to go on five hours. I'm still at. I barely went up like 20 points now. Because <laughs> it's just so much time I'm losing in the lobbies. Like, I went up. Like. 400 to 500 points in two, about two and a half to three hours. 
I went up 400 to like 500 points in two and a half to three hours when I first started live streaming. It hit 10 o'clock, and I and I barely went up like uh, 150 points within the last uh, two and a half hours. <laughs> like it hit 10 o'clock. And my point rate just got cut in half. I was doing so good. I was like, I'm gonna get to a thousand points. We had to go to sleep, call it a night. But nope. It hit ten o'clock. Everybody that's when all the, the rage critters come out. The people who will win once and quit. The people who will be DCing lobbies all the time. People who will be in the middle of a race and DC the lobby so you don't get points. Man, I should have just figured this out earlier. I wish I would have figured this out earlier. I would have. That, that probably explains why a lot of these GPs I've been getting so annoyed. Because I always race like after 10 p.m. And it seems like after 10 p.m. is when all the stupid stuff starts happening. Because quite literally, I was not seeing any of this stupid stuff happening before 10 p.m. At most, it happened like once in a- oh my god. How that person squished me. So I'm pretty sure I was cutting the corners on those jumps. But then again, I forget the hitbox for it. It's kind of stupid. Oh my gosh. Of course, there's a potion. In it. This track is so what trash. I don't know why people choose this track. It's the worst track in the game. This track. Oh my god. And a warp orb and a time clock. Yo, I. Mark my words, I'm never playing Crash Team Racing after 10 p.m. again. Like, I'm done. Like, this is dumb as hell. <laughs> I legit have not seen any clocks of warp orbs until 10 o'clock. This game just went to hell after 10 o'clock. Like, that's a fact. Not even a missile chasing me, but there's a curse I locked on. Another warp orb. I legit in the last in the last hour and a half, I've seen at least hold on, one, two. In the last hour and a half, I've seen like seven, eight clocks and warp orbs. <laughs> In the last hour and a half. Whereas the three hours I was live streaming before that, I've only I only seen like one warp orb. I can't be tripping. <laughs> After 10 o'clock, this game just becomes a different game. Like, they, they just changed the item roulette or something. Like, I've never seen, like, everybody in the racetrack having Aquas or triple missiles or this many warp orbs and clocks. Like, I mean, I, I saw some of this stuff pre patched but, like, this is the, I'm pretty sure this stuff got patched out. Uh. 
now on, I need to stick to playing single player games like after a certain time in the night. Like CTR, I cannot play this fast 10 p.m. Splatoon, you know, I really have not played that in like more than a year now. Yeah, I haven't played Splatoon 2 since, I want to say February 2019. Yeah, I haven't played that in over a year. Not gonna play that past 1 o'clock midnight. Smash Bros. I don't really play that online because it, it's, that game's just horrible online. Like, once you go to, like, tournaments or this, you know, have a, a group of good people and you just play with them locally, like, you never want to play online because it's, it's, Smash Bros. has, like, one of the worst internets for a fighting game ever made. Well, not internets, but, uh, what's it called? Coding or netcode? Yeah, there we go. Smash Bros. literally has the worst netcode I've ever seen in any fighting game I've ever played in my life. I granted, I have not played many fighting games, but like Smash Ultimate already has the worst input reading. Well, I first saw Brawl netcode was already pretty bad because that, that game was super laggy on my like. It takes like a whole hour for you just to load in the match. <laughs> Smash 4 was, wasn't as slow as Brawl Online, but it still was kind of stupid. And then Smash Ultimate is just worse. Yeah, Smash Ultimate is worse than like Smash 4. Because like, Smash 4, um, at least the input reading was good. Did that person have an Aku in first? Or my bad, second. Really? <laughs> Only after 10 p.m., guys. Only after 10 p.m. Can I go back to that lobby that had a bunch of Crash Bandicoots? That lobby was way more fun. It wasn't stupid BS like this time. People getting awkward and second. Shoot, I messed up. Nah, I'm not gonna go for it. <laughs> Got him! Unfortunately, this other person didn't get hit by the Warborg though. Come on, game, give me a missile, you know. Throw me a bone. I gotta make this work. Let's go! That's what I needed. Thank you, game. I called for the game's help, and it came through. I, d <laughs> I mean, it wasn't a missile, but I'll take it. Because I don't think I've gotten a missile in the last hour. Man, when was the last time I got a missile? <laughs> yeah, I don't think I've gotten a missile in the last hour and a half. <laughs> and if I have, I really don't remember getting one. Anyway, back to Smash Bros. So, at least Smash 4, the input reading was good. So, even even though online was still stupid and read the wrong inputs, at least, you know, it, it was a little bit bearable. And then Smash Ultimate came in. I, I cannot play that game online. Good one, Smash Ultimate has the worst input buffering system ever put in any fighting game I've ever played in my life. Because first of all, they put in like, they intentionally put an input delay, which already is just a horrible idea. 
Like the game has so much delays, it's, it's like so stupid. Cause it, like people like me who usually use a fast character, you know, based off reaction speed and stuff, can't even really, you know, play like that because they intentionally put input buffering in. I mean, input delay in, which is just dumb as hell in the fighting game when you need the fastest reactions possible because, you know, it's a fight. And on top of that, the buffering system is horrible. Like, you will, you can press shield, like go of shield, and then press to the right, and then you get a rollout. Like, what? No, you should only roll if you're holding shield, and then you press to a direction. If you let go of shield, and then press a the direction, you should just run, but no. Or like that weird glitch, which I think they may have fixed it. Like, if you would have, like, pressed shield in the air, like, you're trying to air dodge, and then, like, press to the right, and, you know, you bend, let go of shield, and then you land on the ground, and you just roll for no reason. Like, Smash Ultimate, I don't know how they managed to do that when they, the, the game formula has been so good for so many years, like, none of the other Smash Bros. have bad input reading like that. And then Smash Ultimate, all of a sudden, it's all like, the game, you have to fight the game. Like, you're not fighting the character, the mano mano, 100% of the time, like, 5% of the time, you gotta fight the game and you get the wrong input because of the game horrible buffering system. <laughs> and then that's only made even worse when you're playing online. You try playing online and the buffering system's already trash, so now, like, that's even more delay being put on. And so now, like, uh, like, I think the last time I played Smash Ultimate online was, um, when did the game come out? 2018? Yeah, I swear, it hit 10 o'clock and this, everybody just smacked with these invisible items. But, um, yeah, I think the last time I played Smash Ultimate online was in the summer, uh, well, no, not including that time my friend came over, but... Oh my god, why does everybody always got missiles and bombs and stuff, and all I get is just potions, regardless of what place I'm in? Yo, this person's been getting nothing but bombs, and that's making me upset. They're just slowing me down, and they don't even know how to take a shortcut. On this track, I would have finished like 10 seconds ago if I wasn't getting hit harassed by that Ripper Root. But yeah, like Smash Ultimate. The buffering system is just bad, and then the online play makes it even worse, so I, I can't play that game online. Like, I, last time I played it was probably in the summer of one, last year. And that was only because I was just trying to warm up to play for an EVO. Yeah, I was try, just trying to warm up for EVO. Which I think I did pretty decent at EVO for my first time going to EVO and not really playing in that many tournaments. If there was like 3,000 something entrants and I got like 300 something place, so I was like in the top 10% of entrants. Kinda sucks how I lost though because how the tournament's set up. You shouldn't run into the same person until much later in the brackets. Yeah, I somehow ran into the same person. And it got double eliminated by that same person so early in the bracket. It should, should never be something that happens.
it's already bad enough when you lose the person the first time. But like, you watch them the second time, it's just not good because like they already got your number. <laughs> like they already know like what they need to do to beat you. And so it's like, well, dang, run to that same person twice. Well, GG's. It's not like I'm a top player that could just dramatically change my game plan. <laughs> I'm just, you know, a person that don't really go to that many tournaments. And, you know, just play the game casually but at a high level. And then I ran it. No, I, it wasn't even like a regular person either. No, um, person I played, pretty sure they're like PGR or something in Melee or something. What was it? Uh, La, La Luna? I think that was his name. I think, I remember someone telling me that they were like PGR or something in Melee Sons. So that, that's a person that clearly has ton of term experience. <laughs> and for me to have to run, run into Renders, and run into them in Renders bracket, and then they eliminate me, send me the losers. And then like, three to four matches later, run into that same person again? In the losers bracket? That's fair. Loki, I want to get to a thousand points, but it looks like my rate of getting points is just going to be dramatically decreased. <laughs> after 10 o'clock and it might just be better just to call it a night and then focus on getting points you know where it's not going to be as much BS after 10 like tomorrow oh my gosh dude I've seen way too many I'm done I no I'm sorry I've seen way too many war cards within the last hour and a half this is just dumb as hell they should not appear this many times like I've legit seen Eight to nine warp orbs now within the last hour and a half, and they're not supposed to pop up that much. Like now, the game is intentionally trying to get on my nerves. Like at this point, I'm just like playing out of rage, and it's not good. And I'm not gonna be winning any races while playing in rage. And like this game clearly is just trying to make me rage even more. And I dodged that red potion. I'm I'm done. I'm not playing anymore. I'm sorry. I want to get to a thousand points, but I clearly went around that red potion and still got hit. Like I'm not. I'm sorry. Warp orb at the very beginning of the race. It seemed like eight warp orbs within the last hour and a half. Oh, like one every other race. Like no, I I can't do this anymore. <laughs> I'm gonna just stop playing and go play some other better game. It's just not based off stupid BS after ten o'clock. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like I. This is why I can't play this game all month anymore. This game is fun. But, Phoenox did a horrible, such a horrible job with the online playing. Knowing that people are going to be playing this game online most of the time, yet they put no effort into the online play. Hey, Dre. How are you doing? I'm sorry, but I, I really don't feel like playing anymore. For the last hour and a half, like as soon as it hit 10 o'clock, this game became a different game. 
I'm constantly getting hit by items I'm not touching now. There's a warp orb every other race. <laughs> Why is there a warp orb every other race? I thought the item was nerfed. Wasn't the item nerfed? Wasn't the warp orb nerfed? It shouldn't appear that many, that many times. What is going on today? Maybe I just need to take like a five minute break. <laughs> I think I just need to take a five minute break. There's a lot of stupid things that's been happening. Uh, yeah, I need to just take a break. Cause I I I, sh I went up like from six to ten. Wait, no, not six to ten. Um, when I start playing seven something. Oh, thank you for the follow, Trey. Really appreciate that. I think I start playing like around seven thirty. Seven or seven thirty. But I started playing it from 7 to 7.30 to 10. Went up about 400 points. That's about two and a half hours. And then from like 10 to 12, two hours, I can't even went up 200 points yet. <laughs> like, this, there's been like a lot of stupid things going on. So, I, I think I'm just gonna take like a good five, five, eight minute, five to eight minute break, cool off, relax. I don't know, grab some quick snack to eat, come back for reset mine. Now maybe I should take a ten minute break. That, that's that's better. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna take a ten minute break. Oh, okay. So I'm putting in my controller. I'm not down. I'm not picking it up till like 12. And then, but I'm gonna go use the restroom, get some water and stuff, and be back in like five minutes. <laughs> yeah, two, three, one. I wish they had a faster way of doing this. Oh, look at that tray over there, 4,389 points. I think to get in the top 5% I need to um, get about half of the amount of points I have. I mean, that didn't make sense. Get in the rankings of about half of where I'm at right now. So I probably need to get like a thousand, uh, two hundred, thousand, four hundred points. It shouldn't be that hard. I'm pretty sure I'm close to the top 10% now. Because I was ranked like 50 something thousand earlier. Yeah, I'm in the top 10 because I'm at 9%. So I'm, I'm there. I'm almost there. In the top 9%. After one day of grinding. Well, more like five hours of grinding. I 
And my goal is to get to a thousand points. I don't know if I can get to a thousand though. I may stop at like 900. Depending on how things are going. Ooh. I'm pretty sure I'm nowhere close on the Nitro leaderboard, but I don't care about that. Every GP season, I've gotten um, in the top 5% from the championship leaderboard. Oh wait, am I in the top 9% for this too? Can I do that not that math right? Yeah, huh. I'm in the top 9% on both leaderboards. Guess not that many people are going for the Nitro leaderboard anymore. Cause like, <laughs> I haven't even got down to silver tier yet, so that surprises me. I guess it's people who just play just to play and they don't care about getting the GP. Anyways, it's 11.55 so I'm gonna go take that 5 minute break and be back at 12.
All right, I'm back. All right, got the GP grind. We begin. Thanks for the encouragement, Trey. I got this. Just gotta be focused. Which hopefully that break helped me be focused. I know that we all wish we could just play games for 24-7. Sometimes we really do just need a good 5-10 minute break. Especially in a competitive game because you need to just relax your mind and get back into it. Now if you're playing a non-competitive game, that's another story, you know. Just play that game like as much as you can. So you don't have to you don't have to really think that hard. Unless it's a puzzle game. But then again, I don't really play that many puzzle games. So I don't really know. I mean, I guess some games that have puzzles in it? Like The Legend of Zelda? But like a game just geared for puzzles? I don't think I really play those. I'm trying to see that person's name. I feel like that's. can't read it, but I feel like it looks. oh my gosh. I've seen that name before. What is it? I still can't read it. It's too hard to see. They managed to avoid all my items perfectly hitting me that TNT great. Man, that person just took up like all those item crates with that bomb! I hate invisible walls. Dang, this person don't know anything about racing games. Like, they just straight up all the way in the outside lane. <laughs> Doesn't even matter. That person already won. Thank you, help that miss. Trying to do, if these bombs were like the original CTR, I would not be missing. But for some reason, they like made them curve. I've got hit by an item in that corner literally every single time. Yo, maybe I need a more than a 5 minute break. <laughs> I mean a 10 minute break. Yo, oh my gosh, like I don't know what is wrong with the game. Like, after 10 o'clock, I'm literally only getting hit by invisible items like half the time. Like, I can't even freaking play the game anymore. 
This item hill. And I'm getting seen the war bars like literally every race now. This is dumb. It's not how this game would, should be played. <laughs> war bars shouldn't exist. No. That's so weird. You're not supposed to jump that high. But I guess apparently I got the perfect jump and jumped over the boost pad. I also hate that when someone else hits the the light, I mean it hits the laser beam, it just flashes your screen, which makes no sense. Like it should flash near that person, not flash my screen. <laughs> Cause that blinds me and I can't see and I'm not the one who got hit by it, so I was like I'm getting punished for someone else's mistake. If if that makes sense, like my is actually my screen flashing, like the animation when someone else hits it, it makes my screen flash white, not make it flash near that person, which is a bad choice in animation because now I'm randomly getting flashed for no reason and I can't see what I'm doing. Granted, yes, I probably was about to fall off that track either, anyway, but at least I would have liked seen that I was going to fall off the track, so I could have at least attempted to correct it. <laughs> All I know is I, I jumped in the air and then the screen flashed, and then I'm like, oh shoot, I jumped over the boost pad. Well, I'm dead now. It's the same thing with the warp orb too. For some reason when the warp orb hits someone else, your screen still flashes. So I know there's been plenty of times where like I was in like second or third and then I was doing fine and then the person that first got hit by the warp orb, yet my screen flashed and I couldn't see and I ended up hitting a wall or something. But yeah. That's like some glitch I, I wish they fixed, but then they're probably not gonna be. They probably don't look care. <laughs> I just take out. Did I miss the embryo? Okay, no. I was like, I gotta take out the embryo because he's the most experienced player here. And I don't know how that person hit. Oh, Aku? I never get these. Let's go. Let's go. Thank you, game. But once the game actually like. And another warp orb? I legit have seen a warp orb on literally almost every track now. What the heck is this? Like this is very dumb. 
Now that Embryo is gonna win because of this stu stupid BS. <laughs> oh my gosh, like what the heck happened to this game after 10 o'clock? It hit 10 o'clock and now the most stupid things are happening. I'm seeing warp orbs every race now, it should not be a thing. Lobbies where people in second place are getting warp orbs, I mean Bakus. It's like the game just it hit 10 o'clock and the game's like, yeah, I'm done with letting you win. Now you must lose. Like I swear, it hit 10 o'clock and that's what happened. Well at least it did give me an Aku though. Ah, I ran out of fire at the worst taunt moment. Man, I am real solely won just because of a freaking warboard. That makes me so sad. Not for that war board, but I would have won. <laughs> and I've been seeing I've seen like ten war boards now within the last two hours. Which is really annoying. That's literally getting a war board on like Six, 50 to 60 percent of the tracks now. Or a time clock. Actually, no, a time clock is a pair. Warp orbs and time clock is appeared on the same track. It isn't like one or the other. I mean, it isn't just a time clock by itself. No, a time clock is always appeared with a warp orb. I think they need to, if this is happening, they need to do another patch again to nerf the uh, appearance rate again. <laughs> so I, I don't, I really didn't like playing the game when, the, when it first came out because you would be racing and you have like three warp orbs chasing you at once and get hit by like two time clocks all in the same race, every race. And now it's like I'm getting hit by like one warp for every race now. Which should not be an item in a game. I said that earlier. Warp Org should not be an item in a game unless it's the juiced up version. That's the only one I'm okay with because it hits everyone. But like the regular one is just not fair. It goes out the first, and you're pretty much punishing the first place for it being good. Which is horrible game practice. And I will forever hate whoever thought it was a good idea for the last place to get a, an item that hits first. Yeah, like, please, game. Can you die down the warp orbs? Can we go back to me not seeing the warp orbs except, like, only seeing them in like one every ten races, not seeing it like half the races? Please, game. It's more fun when there's no warp orbs. Because I've legit lost like. Four, five races now because of the war form. Especially the pop, the pop of the pyramid one. <laughs> that one made me mad. Because <laughs> that warp or legit spawned hitting me. It wasn't. It didn't even go on the map. I was in the middle of the shortcut, and all of a sudden, a warp orb just spawned on me and made me fly off the track and lose the race when I was at first.
Oh my gosh, why was there a wall right there? Sometimes I really wish there was some other gaming company that helped out Phenox. Because they are just horrible <laughs> at making hitboxes. Like, that's an absolute fact. There's no way that there was a wall right there that I hit. Alright, so this is the last GP. Can be nice, like, hand the rights of this over to someone else who, you know, like, actually makes racing games. <laughs> and so they can fix the hitboxes and all these walls. So, you know, you can cut corners like you're supposed to do in a racing game. Not just randomly hit an invisible wall that you can't see. Because there'll be another thing if you can see it, because it's like, oh, there's a wall there. Let me not run into it. But like half the time, you can be like, alright, let me cut this corner and bam. I already know I'm losing on this track because I have no practice playing on this track. Alright, so if the pattern continues, I'm more likely to see a warp orb on this track. So should I intentionally stay in second? Nah, because it's the shortcuts. It's better to be in first so you can just block the shortcut up, shortcut off of an item. Or would it be best to be in third? That way, the person in second gets smacked by the item, and then the person in first gets hit by the eventual warp orbs, since apparently the item rate just went up for warp orbs at 10 o'clock, and then the person in third goes home free. Why did I cut that card? Like that. Simple. Waiting for everybody else to get smacked, so then. Nope, oh, never mind, I still got hit. Lost my fire, all because of one TNT. And now that same person's gonna win. Unless a Warp Orb has something to say about it. But it's not, because Warp Orbs only like me for some reason.
<laughs> was not trying to hit them, but I'll take it. Oh, come on! I didn't touch the wall! Oh my gosh! This is so dumb! I was... I most definitely did not touch that wall and I lost my fire. Again. Just because I'm trying to cut corners. <laughs> but I tend... I cut corners but I don't touch the wall but I somehow lose my fire as if I did. And right there my power slide did not... I mean I started power sliding even though I was not holding on. Wow, this game. <laughs> After 10 o'clock, everything just goes to hell. I've been, I've been having perfect input reading all day. Now all of a sudden, my inputs can't be read. Because I almost definitely let go of R, yet I somehow ended up power sighting. There's literally no reason to be holding R inside that shortcut. So I 100% let go of it inside the shortcut. Yet somehow I managed to power slide. I don't know how that happened. I think the greatest thing I miss about the original CTR is how great the hitboxes were. Like, you could drive near a wall and you'd be fine. Hey, I, I remember the original CTR, you can even sometimes smack a wall and be fine. I mean, you might lose your fire, but you wouldn't like just go to instant zero. This game, like, that's another story. You can smack a wall and still keep on your speed, but don't drive near a wall. <laughs> In this game, you drive near, you, if you drive near a wall, you're losing all your fire going to zero. But if you smack dead face first into a wall, you'll somehow keep your fire. Only in this game. Because it's, it's happened plenty of times. I smack dead into a wall and somehow keep my fire. <laughs> but I'd be driving like near a wall. Don't touch it, but just near it. And then I, I hit some invisible wall and just lose all my speed. Like, what? I don't understand. Like, there's like some walls that just, what, they're bigger than they are. And other walls, it's like a boost pad or something. Like on Coco Park earlier, you saw me, I legit can just j jump at the wall and then just fly over it for no reason and get a boost from it. Or what's the other track? Um, Nina's Nightmare, one of the fences, you could just jump into the fence and then get a boost from it. Or um, is it Android Alley? I don't know, one of, one of those tracks, you can just jump on a wall and just ride on a wall like it doesn't exist. <laughs> Yet, here I am, on some of these other tracks, not touching the wall, just drive near it. And then I, I it's like I get hit by something and just lose my speed. Oh, 
bless the game for giving me a shield in the beginning of the race, because that usually never happens. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, good. I didn't touch it. That person is not playing. Don't touch me, fire. Because I know I'm not touching you. Oh my goodness. There's like no way to avoid that. Unless I was like pixel perfect. But you know, this game doesn't allow you to be pixel perfect. And on top of that, um, I couldn't go on the outside because those flames are broken as heck and hit you even when they're not there. There's been plenty of times where I've drove it, driven past a tiki and the flames weren't even out yet, yet I somehow got burned. Because again, Phoenix doesn't know how to make hitboxes. But yeah. Those people are pretty evil for putting those two potions on the platform like that. One on the left and one on the right. Because you have to either somehow pixel perfectly get in between those. Or take your chances of getting hit by a, a stupid Tiki Flame hitbox that doesn't exist. Now I wanted to take my chances with the potions. Because at least those, if I hit it, I... 90% of the time, I honestly hit it. <laughs> but of course, it's that few 10% of the time you don't, but because hitboxes, whatever, I'll be like, whatever. But the, the, the flames on the Tiki things, <laughs> those are dumb. Because <laughs> I, 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 there's been plenty of times where that thing was not shooting fire, and I drive past it, and I still get hit. It's like they made the hitbox not like a a gradual hitbox that comes out, it's like the hitbox is a instant a line of sight hitbox, like, because the animation is the flames come out of the tiki, but it, I, I think the hitbox is like instant laser beam out of the tiki, and then the flames catch up like a second or two later, and then while the flames are disappearing, the laser beam is still outside of the tiki, <laughs> and then it just disappears. Like, it's, it's straight up a laser beam. It's not a flame. It's a laser beam shooting out of the Tiki. That does not match up with the flame whatsoever. Did I win? Yeah, I won. It's because people placed items in a very good way, so it was like... Legit, like everybody got hit on the third lap. Because they placed like a bunch of items on the ramp before the fight with the Tiki's, and like nobody's gonna take the chance with the Tiki because of how broken those hitboxes were. So everybody went for the ramp, and like everybody got hit. And so I, I won because I just I got there before everybody, got hit before everybody, and just kept on going before everybody could continue going themselves. And I'm pretty sure the people who tried to avoid those items on that ramp got hit by the stupid hitboxes of the, the tiki things because those flames come hit you before they actually come out. What else has stupid hitboxes? 
Oh, the seals on Polar Pass. I love uh, that. I love that track, but the seal hitboxes are complete BS. <laughs> like their hitboxes are a whole like tower above them, and like two seals in front of them. <laughs> like you can't even attempt to come near those seals. You ha can only drive behind them. Because for some reason they don't have a hitbox behind them. But if you want to jump over one, you're dead because they they have a tower hitbox above them. And if you want to drive in front of them, you're dead because they're like two s seals in front of them. Why does person got to drive way over? I swear, like, some people will be going out of their way to block your head. Oh, that person messed up. Let's go. Boxes again. Did I? Oh, I need to look at the stream. Did I hit that train? No, not really. Looking back at the stream, I did not really hit that chain. I was kind of close to it, but I went, I went over the silver area that like it's connected to. But I guess that counts as the chain, so I guess I hit it. Yo, I'm so lucky I got the um, super engine though, because <laughs> I think that's the sole reason I won that race. Because I have a I have a bad time keeping fire on that track, but thanks to that super engine, I managed to I could get topped off with fire, and so that allowed me to keep the fire and catch up to that person who I don't know what they hit, but they hit something, and it made them just stop. And so I, I passed him, and then because of the super engine, I just had fire for like the rest of the race. So that's one of the few tracks I actually want the super engine on. Hey, 
Maybe getting into 1,000 points won't be something I can do tonight. <laughs> but maybe I should try to get into like the top 10,000 players. Then again, I don't even know if I could do that. So I want to get a thousand points. But then again, I, I do have work in the morning. I thought it would have been a bit faster, but when it hit 10 o'clock, <laughs> it's just been all bad from there. <laughs> So I know I'm like at 700 something now, right? Maybe get to like 800 something and then call it a night. And then play more tomorrow. Because I think I got to sometime Monday morning. And getting like. 600 something points in one day isn't bad. Yo, shield on the first item crate two times in a row? Let's go. That's all I can ask for. Just get me a shield in the very beginning of the race because I'm like on number one on everybody's hit list for some reason. <laughs> Like, I don't care about hitting someone at the beginning of the race. I just want to protect myself. Yeah, I remember back before they passed out the warboards. I, like, religiously got smacked by a warp orb on the first item crate every single time on this track. Like, it was guaranteed. Ah, uh, try to cut the corner. Didn't you turn fast enough. Nah, I could've finished on less than a minute 20. Yep, I lost two seconds from that potion. I would have finished in about less, about a minute 20 or maybe a minute 19. Whatever, just as long as the Crash Bandicoot wins on Crash Code. Crash Bandicoot has to win on Crash Code. No other character can win on Crash Code. I practice Crash Cold so much. Because <laughs> that's the track Crash has to win on. Of all tracks. I practice that track until I got to like a minute 19. We're just like one second behind world record. World record is like a minute 18 seconds. Actually, no. Never mind. I think a world record might be faster than that now. It might be a minute 17 seconds. Ooh, tiny arena. Android Alley. That's the stage I was talking about earlier. This stage, you can le legit just ride on the wall like it doesn't exist. I'm over 700 now, right? 752, that's actually better than I thought. That was just barely getting past 700. You know, back when this game first come out, came out, I thought like some of the hardest tracks were like Thunderstruck. 
Thunderstruck, uh, what other tracks? Or was it just Thunderstruck? I think Thunderstruck was the only track I struggled with. <laughs> this game came out. Oh no, Hyperspace Way because I always get screwed over by warboards and items and stuff. But now, after like, you know, really playing this game, getting really good at it, I think Tiny Arena is the hardest track in the game. Like, legit, Tiny Arena is the hardest track in the game at a top level, if you ask me. It is too easy to make a mistake on this track. And against good players making one mistake on this track, it, it's just GG, it's over. You lose your fire once, it's just GG. But there is a ton of time you can cut off on this track. It's ridiculous how much time you can cut off. I'm saying, looking at world record, and it's like 2 minutes and 40 something seconds. I'm like, dang, I didn't even know you can get finished a lap in less than a minute <laughs> before. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Why are there so many warp orbs today? And this person got it! Oh my gosh. Legit had a whole lead ruined just because of a war board. And now people are getting missiles. Oh my god. <sighs> Legit. Freaking just lost this whole race because of one stupid war board. Because for some dumb reason, this today, this war board's on crack. And how did that missile. Okay. Okay. I, see, I told you this game is on crack today. I, why did that missile not hit me? Oh, man, this person at first is just so freaking lucky. They're getting, and then person in third has a, an Aku. Oh my god. Like, please tell me I'm not on crack. Items are like being stupid today, right? Oh my gosh. It, it's, all these dumb idiots sitting here hitting me. I could easily be in first right now, but just gets. I swear, I have the worst item luck of any CTR player in the world. Like, you, you see this. Get a warp orb on the very beginning of the race, which. I wish they would patch that out. Like, warp orb should not appear to at least the second lap. And then, literally, everybody and their mother is just going after me with items. Everybody gets missiles. Squishes me, bombs. Everything was fine until I got hit by a stupid warboard. And then, like, those missiles somehow went through me. I don't even know how to explain that one. Besides lag. <laughs> like, dang. I swear I got the worst item luck. Like, if this person does not finish within like a 3 minutes and like 5 seconds, I honestly would have beat them if it wasn't for that warboard. Putting me this far behind. Alright, hold up, where are they? Yeah. I legit only lost to this person because of freaking item hell. Because <laughs> quite literally, that warboard ruined everything. They got so lucky I got hit by that warboard at the beginning of the race. Because I would have been finished 15 seconds ago. They still haven't finished. This makes me so mad. This person is not even close to good. And I lost because of item hell. I lit my time on average is 20 seconds faster than this. That doesn't show how stupid item hell slowed me down. Oh man. 
use drift. Nah, it's not even drift class. I, I can do this track easily with the speed class. Like, the only reason I lost is because of that warp orb at the beginning of the race. Which is dumb as heck because you should not have warp orb shouldn't repair that fast. Because that warp orb hit me. Because I already, like, had a lead at the beginning of the race. Like, I was a good, like, two, three, four seconds in front of everybody. But that warp orb hit me, so then that person that was, uh, that got first could catch up to me. And then they hit me with an item. And then everybody else just started ganging up on me with items. And it made me drop, like, 20 seconds. Because I could finish this track in, like, three minutes and, like, five seconds. Like, it all started because of that warp orb at the beginning of the race. Because if that warp orb didn't exist, I would have just left everybody in the dust. Like, that's an absolute fact. <laughs> this per person had nobody contending against him. Nobody was hitting that person at all. Because they, they just got away scot-free. And they finished in 3 minutes and 28 seconds? Like, that time is horrible. If it wasn't for item hell, I so would have won that race with no competition. Three minutes and twenty-eight seconds. Gosh, that is a bad time. Like at least three minutes and ten seconds, like like somewhere between three minutes and ten seconds to three twenty seconds is like an okay time for racing online because you know items and stuff. But three minutes twenty-eight seconds? Like you should only be getting that if you got stuck in item hell, but that person had nobody going after them. Because I'm the one who got hit by the warp orb. There were no time clocks. And nobody was near them the entire race. So that was just them just racing and they took them that long. Man, I want Tiny Arena again. but And I don't want to get screwed over by a warp orb. Just so I could show like how slow that person was because I'll finish in less than a min three minutes and ten seconds if no stupid BS happens with items <laughs> man that person legit just won because of items and can the warp orbs stop? I've seen way too many warp orbs today in my entire like, ever since they, uh, patched the item spawn late, like, I've seen more warp orbs today than my entire time of seeing warp orbs since they nerfed them. That potion did not hit me! Gosh! Flag well, is the dumbest thing ever created. I wish it never existed. Why can't everybody just have perfect internet? Why when um internet was created? We could have just had perfect internet. <laughs> Why? You know how much the better world this place would be if we had perfect internet? There was no such thing as a lag. And there's people getting missiles 24 7. And another warp orb! Are you kidding me? What the hell is wrong with this game? I've seen way too many warp orbs. Really. I've seen a warp orb literally like 80 to 90 percent of the races. This cannot be possible. <laughs> what the heck? And then you, you've seen how that warp orb specifically is going after me. It. They wait until the person first and second finish, and then that was going after me. Like, what the heck? <laughs>
Well, actually, I don't know. Maybe that Warper was on the track before that, but it just, all I know is that it went after me, and I wasn't at first, because the other two finished. Like, I was le legit and seeing a Warp Orb on 80 to 90% of these races. Like, who is hacking the game and increased the rate of Warp Orbs? This is not acceptable. This is, like, part of the reason why I don't play Mario Kart. Because the blue shell is BS and appears all the time and always hits me. <laughs> like, I, I was like, alright, I'm gonna have a race with no warp orb. Nope. I mean, I finished just before it hit me, but no, the game just had to leave a message. It's like, yeah, no. <laughs> warp orb is always gonna be chasing you, no matter what. <laughs> like, dang. Like, this should not be appearing once a race. I don't want to... No. I thought we were done with the Dark Ages. Like, the first three to four GPs when Warp Orbs just kept spawning all the time. I thought the Dark Ages were over. What did they do? Did they, like, increase the Warp Orb rate again? Because whoever did that needs to get fired. Like, if I worked at the video game company, and I was a higher up, and I found out someone increased the warp, the warp orb rate, I'll ask who gave them permission, or whoever is the person in charge of that decided it was a great idea to increase the warp orb rate, they're getting fired on the spot. That's not the type of game I want to support. <laughs> I'd be like, you want to increase the warp orb rate? Yes, yeah, sir. We thought it would be fun. Fine for who? Losers? People who like trolling? Nah, nah, you can leave. You can leave this place. But, but sir, nah, I don't care. Um, decrease that warp bar rate back to 1%. <laughs> or get out of this building now and never come back. I would never let that fly. Instant fire for anybody to increase warp or break. Why did I not go for the items? I'm gonna lose this race and it's gonna be all my fault. Unless nobody. That's a miracle. I didn't go for any items and I did not get hit on this track? How? Ah, uh, this purr is persistent. I'm trying to get them to hit one of these items. Dang it! <laughs> Wait, did I hit them? I think I hit them. Let's go. But they did just, like, slow down a little bit. So they are slowly catching up. Dang it. I wanted an item crate. Please don't hit me, AI. Oh no! Shoot. Curses. I had that. And then I hit my own item. 
Because apparently nobody else on this entire race hit that. <laughs> How? How did no one else hit that? How? It's around the corner in the middle of the track. In a, a closed corridor. Nobody hit that, not even the AI? How? I knew I, I, I should have came around that corner expecting it to be there. I should have, but it's, I, I was just I, I was so confident someone hit it, but nobody hit it. Oh man, I'm surprised none of the AI hit it. Like they all went around that, like it was the plague or something. Like <laughs> they all went around that bullshit. <laughs> oh man. They all was like, yeah, we're not going to hit this potion. Took myself out. I had that race and I took myself out. <laughs> Learn from my mistake, everyone. Always assume nobody hit your item. And do not drive the same path if you decide to place an item. Always assume nobody hit your item. Even when you're racing AI. Because apparently AI just know how to avoid items like the plague now. <laughs> Unless that was someone else's item. That's also another thing. Nah, it, it had to have been mine. There's no way that was someone else's item. Man, I'm so disappointed I lost that. I guess one thing when you get cheated by like a warp orb or hit an invisible wall or something. But when you lost because you hit your own item, like that's, that's disheartening. <laughs> that's like, dang. Took yourself out. Like I legit would have won if I just did not place that item there. Or if I would have just, you know, Assumed nobody hit it and just ran around, but nope. I killed myself. That's a self destruct. No, is there even a point in um placing an item in the beginning to try to defend yourself? No that I think about it. No matter how many times I place an item in the beginning, I never defend myself. And I think it's because of lag. Because if you notice like nobody ever starts in the beginning, which is complete BS because we all know everybody's gonna start. <laughs> which makes me think that when I place an item, it probably appears way later on everyone's screen than it should. Which is probably why it never defends me. And the only good item in the beginning is the shield, because that's the only one that actually manages to defend you. Which makes me think the items have spawned so late, and so that's why you always get hit by invisible items and never no one else ever gets hit. Yeah, that gotta be it. So, like, legit at the beginning is, if you, unless you get, like, a rolling bomb or, um, oh, I almost fell. A rolling bomb or, um, what's the other one called? A shield. 
you really don't want any other items in those because every other item just does not work in the beginning. No, please don't hit me, AI, please don't. <laughs> those AI, those Hakus, they be like smacking you from a mile away online. Man, I'm still heartbroken about a historic playground race. I took myself out. Oxide Station. Alright. So I probably won't be able to get to a thousand points. But going up, about 600 points, pretty good. So maybe I could just try to get like below 10,000 people and then call it a night. Because, <laughs> yeah, um, if I did my calculations right, you need to be like somewhere around the 6,000s to be in the top 5%. So if I get below 10,000 people, I would at least be, just have to pass 3,000 more people. The point limit, because uh, usually, I mean when the game first came out, <laughs> since so many people were playing, you probably only had to get like 700, 800 points to be in the top 5%. But now since less people are playing out, you need to get like over 1,000. It's so usually somewhere between a thousand or a thousand four hundred getting the top five percent in GP points for the championship. I don't know about the um What's the other one called? The Nitro leaderboard? I don't know about that because ever since they allowed you to start paying for it with Wampa coins, I stopped going for it. <laughs> Cause it is like, yeah, I don't got the time to be doing that all every day. You tell me I could just play for like maybe about 12 hours and get in the top 5% be a champion leaderboard and then just 
use the leftover money to buy the rest of the rewards, I'm good. I only need about 12 to 20 hours in a month to play this game, get the rewards I need. So everything else I just need Wampa coins for, I'm good. But I am a little sad though that the GPs are ending. Why couldn't it have gone on for like a month? I am a month. <laughs> Why couldn't the GPs have gone on for- Oh gosh, how did I end up power sliding like that? I swear, like, I'd be letting go of R in the games like, nah, you should keep power sliding. Especially on bumpy road, on bumpy tracks like this. Because in the original CTR, it still read your inputs even while you're in the air. This game, like, it only inputs it when it reads while you're in the air, is great in directions. Like, every other input just wants to ignore for some reason. Oh look, the AI again. But oh, they screwed me over. No, I screwed myself over. <laughs> no, I could have finished in less than three minutes. Oh wait, what I make? Can I still make it? Eh, yeah, still made in less than three minutes. Yo, I, I still have not played Pain Rally. How have I still not played that? <laughs> Maybe I just had to do some Ring Rally and upload that to YouTube at some point. I would have voted for Cortex Castle when it's just like two people like this, so I just vote random. I laugh. I laugh whenever I see people complaining, saying that like entropy or any of the ghost time trial times are hard. And I'm just sitting here like, are you kidding me? All our times are faster than the ghost. And that's not even me trying.
I wonder if the staff ghost times are going to be like really that good. Loki, what? What if they release the staff ghost times and then like they're all just faster than world record? <laughs> And then, and then being nice to just sitting here like, yeah, y'all noobs. Y'all need to learn how to race. <laughs> like, like, just imagine they did that. <laughs> just look at all the ghost times faster than the world records. Whole community would fall into shambles. I mean, I sincerely doubt it because they don't know how to make wall hitboxes, so probably not cutting corners. <laughs> Otherwise, they would have fixed it by now. Oh, wait, no. Even better. <laughs> Why don't they intentionally put these invisible walls so people can cut all the corners? And so, when they do this final update, they fix all the invisible walls so they can cut corners and get world records. And then put make those the final ghosts that everybody gotta beat. As we're all sitting here like, what the heck? That ghost just dropped through the wall. And then they're gonna be like, y'all don't know how to play the game. Ooh, never walls there. As we're all scrambling to figure out what's going on, and it just turns out they just removed the walls in the final patch. Has that been their goal the entire time? Is that why they've been ignoring everyone's pleas to fix these invisible walls? Oh gosh, the AI is trying to kill me. Yo, I just hit an invisible wall and I didn't lose my fire. The heck? I mean, it's hard to notice while if you're just viewing it, but... If you play the game, you can tell when you hit an invisible wall. It's like you slow down for like a nanosecond and feel like a vibration on the controller. And so, like, I just hit an invisible wall, but like for some reason, I didn't lose my fire. Like one of the, the this track has like a lot of a lot of stone things that like pop up out of the ground, and like for some reason, some of those are like a wall. <laughs> And so if you touch it the wrong way, you just lose your, all your fire. And like, I hit one of those, but I didn't lose my fire for some reason. I mean, I got no problem with that. Dan wants to keep me with my fire. I'll definitely, definitely be grateful for that. Only that happen every time. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna get to a thousand today. So I'm just gonna try to get in the top 10,000 players instead. Ooh, Polar Pass. I never pass up the opportunity to choose this track. That one person does something horns. I never want to face that person while I'm trying to get GP, GP points ever again. I cannot believe that person got a minute 49 seconds on Cortex Castle in the online lobby.
<laughs> Almost uh, a few seconds behind world record on Cortex Castle in an online lobby. In an online lobby with item hail. <laughs> and that person was kind of, it was a few seconds behind world record, like no. Check your meters next time. Like <laughs> Like if we had to meme that, that be like that meme where it's like, like Alright, I gotta get fifteen thousand I mean I gotta get one thousand points before the end of the day. Um GP, and you're like, all right, you should be fine. You're like, wait, but what about that guy? Oh, that guy, don't worry about him. As you see, this dude over here just <laughs> getting a world record. Like, uh, I don't know what he said, dude. <laughs> I mean, I want to, but I don't because I'm trying to get GP points, and that's a guaranteed second, no matter what. <laughs> No, lost my fire. Okay, my best friend that I would be finishing right now. <laughs> yeah, world records like a minute fifty something. So I'd be looking at these world records and I'd be like, man, y'all doing the exact same thing I'm doing, but finishing like ten seconds faster. <laughs> Actually, no, the world record on this track takes a late shortcut, like very sharp, without blue fire, which I don't even know how the heck they managed to do that. They straight up just like, yeah, lakes don't exist. My vehicle can fly. And another thing I don't understand is some of these world records, like, they just be hopping. Like, they don't want to be power sliding, they just be hopping, and then they somehow keep their fire. But I swear, if I ever try that, I instantly lose my fire. I'm like, nah, I gotta be power sliding. And I stop hopping, nope. Fire, gone. Never existed. Kaput. Eradicated. Burned out. Alright, where am I now? Alright, gotta pass like 70 people. And then I'll just call it a night.
Oh, look who it is. Trey. Wait, BC Rare CTI? Oh no, isn't that a good player? I cannot remember. I feel like that's a good player. Like a really good player. And okay, there we go. What's up, Trey? See, we got into the same lobby again. Though you kind of disappeared. Oh, no, no, there you are. I feel like this lobby has some good racers in it. I don't know, something's just telling me that. Like some really, really good racers. Oh, but the lag though. Oh, lag, please no. <laughs> please don't lag. Missile, oh, that won't do. Yeah, I knew my instincts were right. <laughs> this is gonna be a tough lobby to win.
I was all like, what? Three tinies in this lobby and they're not voting, voting for tiny Amina? <laughs> oh man, it's gonna be very hard to win on this track. I like that how uh, that other person left. They're like, hold up. Everybody in this lobby's heavy hitters. I'm out. Because I think that, that people who are like all finished with very close times all are the only ones that stayed. Oh man, it's about to be some tough races. Especially Tiny Arena. I mean, just one tiny mistake and it's over. And it's a tough, and it's gonna be against good racers. Oh man. Oh, this is gonna be tough. It is going to be tough. Ah, uh, yep, I lost this race. It's over. <laughs> that tiny better win, though. This is his home track. And I remember that name. And I only remember names. For certain reasons. Me remembering that person's name means they're good at this game. Very good. And I messed up. And the AI is not making it better. <laughs> oh wait, the Penta passed it a tiny? What happened? Yo, someone hit him? Dang, they finished in less than three minutes? Oh my goodness. Like I said, anybody thought I was joking? Nah, these people on the nut are really good. <laughs> but yeah, like I was saying earlier, that other person, 
uh, last time I raced on Tiny Arena, only reason they won is because of item hell. Because I got hit by a warp orb and then everybody just jumped in with items afterward. But look at this. 308. Like I said, <laughs> I got finished in less than 3 minutes and 10 seconds. That, that other Tiny Arena, that person who got first in 3 minutes 28 seconds was solely because I got... I got destroyed by items. There was no reason that person should have won with that that time of three minutes twenty eight seconds. But yeah, like I said, I knew the I knew these guys were good because I'm like I remember that those names. <laughs> three tiny reading less than three minutes. Uh, see, I, I know by it, and I I. I need to practice timing it, but this is the hardest track in the game. <laughs> my time, like, I think my fastest lap on timing being the part is like 57, 58 seconds, I don't know, somewhere around there. I think 58 seconds is probably my fastest lap. But yeah, getting under 3 minutes, not something I've consistently managed to do yet. I think I'm in the top 10,000 right now, right? Not top, not the top uh, five percent, but getting closer. Probably have to. Ow, my hands hurt. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but like my hands just got that that sudden like shock back of like, oh right, you're not supposed to be doing this for this long. But yeah, I think this race is gonna be my last one. <laughs> They didn't go for the items? Interesting. I know uh, no, I probably wouldn't have no chance of beating any of these people not for items. Their lap times are probably way faster than mine. Did they block it? What did they block it with? Did they? I think they threw a bomb. They lost fight. Oh, war board. Yo, I literally only won that because of Ivan. <laughs> I did not deserve that win. I literally only won that because of a stupid Warboard. Now I can't leave because I only won that because of a Warboard. I'm gonna leave on the next race. Nah, I don't want to leave on that one.
I don't even know how the warp orb didn't hit me. Same the fact I was like right behind them. Like not exactly right behind them, but like on the same line of trajectory kind of. So I don't know how the warp orb went around me but hit them. Okay, this one would be my last race. So I'm not gonna make the last one my last race. Because I only won because of a warp war, which is stupid. Because I most definitely should not have won that race. That's so why I hate warp orbs, it's stupid. It's unfair. It only goes out to the person at first, so unless the person's juiced up. The juiced up version is fair, the regular version is not. Oh wait, this person just switched to Ami. Yup, okay, I remember this person now. Yup. That's all it took. Like, I knew that name was familiar. Shoot, I don't have an item. I'm screwed. Oh, did they hit something? Why did they fire? Oh, come on, I didn't even touch that. Oh gosh, <laughs> my controller did not work for a second that made me just shoot over to the right. Stupid train got in my way. Oh no. Again, I ask, why does that wall not exist? No! Don't throw me off the tr- oh my gosh.
Alright, now I'll call this one my last race. But now I can leave on a good conscience knowing that I didn't solely win the race just because of a war forward at the last second. I tried to kill you? Wait, when did I try to kill you? If I threw anything at you, it's just solely because of, um, just me just throwing stuff. I was not specifically going after anybody. Now I can go. But yeah, my bad Trey. If I if, if I threw something at you, I probably was not even paying attention, just just for stalling stuff. Okay, well I'm gonna get one thousand points today. Like get it going up like 700 something points in one day, it's pretty good. <laughs> I'm like at, I'm in the top 6.8%. So I'm almost there. Huh, top 6.8%, I haven't broke a thousand yet? That's weird. Must, it must be a high steep and um, a high curve in points at a certain point. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> I went from like 50,000, ranked 50,000 to ranked 9,500. Within the span of how many hours have I been live streaming? I've been live streaming for about seven hours, almost seven hours, six hours and fifty-four minutes to be precise. But I think that's pretty good. I just live stream tomorrow, play more CTR. I should get in the top five percent tomorrow. That's all it takes. Two days of playing. Well, seven hours now. Probably like another five hours or so tomorrow, and I should be in the top five percent. Probably won't even need five hours, but probably gonna play for like five hours just to, you know, su submit me being into the top five percent. Make sure I'm in the top five and not nobody passes me at the last second. I wonder where I am on a Nitro leaderboard. Probably nowhere close. Not that I care about the Nitro leaderboard at all. Top 8.9%. Hey Hunter, long time no see. Kinda sucks though, cause you're coming, coming in right when I'm about to end the stream. Are you in the top five percent? I'm not. I'm close though. What did I say? Like six point eight percent or something? I'm close. One more live stream, and I should be in the top five percent. Just wanted to say hi. 
you haven't been playing. You can still get in the top 5%, but I haven't been playing till today. <laughs> this whole month I have not been playing, I just started playing about 7 hours ago. And I'm almost in the top 5%. So you, realistically speaking, if you can like get in the top 3 for the most part, in most of your races, it should only take about from 12 to 20 hours to get in the top 5% in the championship leaderboard. As long as like you're getting like top three places. Now, if you're getting like last every race, uh, you're gonna have to. No helping you there. Probably go for the Nitro leaderboard instead of the Championship leaderboard. But yeah, you can always get to the top 5% if you just play for like 12 or 20 hours. <laughs> now, Hunter, I'm not saying you, I'm just saying if somebody wanted to grind at the last second. <laughs> And they wanted to get in the top five percent on championship leaderboard. That's not happening. If they just if they keep getting last. <laughs> like nah, you if you're getting a if, if someone get a last every race, they better be grinding from day one. <laughs> if they're trying to get in the championship leaderboard. Grinding from day one every single day for like 10 hours a day. <laughs> now, how many points would you even need for that? Because, <laughs> hold on. It takes like 3 minutes per race. Probably if you like average it out. Probably 3 minutes per race. And if you got 1 point per race. <laughs> You probably need like a thousand two hundred points. So that's like uh, three thousand six hundred minutes <laughs> that you would need to get for getting like last place. So how many hours is that? It's three sixty divided by that's that's like six. Wait, is that sixty hours? Yeah, the 360 divided by 6 is 60, so 3,600 divided by... Oh, wait, no, not... Yeah, that, that's 600 hours. Never mind. <laughs> you would need... Like, I, I don't know. I'm doing this all in my mind, and I'm tired, so I may be wrong. But that would be like, you need 600 hours of getting in last place <laughs> to get in the top 5%. <laughs> Hey, you got that type of dedication to put 600 hours into it, you can get in the top 5% on the championship leaderboard. And you can easily do that on the Nitro leaderboard. You go, you my guess. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I don't. Nerd. Wait, was I right? Don't tell me I was right. Did you put it in the calculator? I don't know. Was I right? I think I may have been right. <laughs> I don't know. Let's see when I get the final detail. <laughs> you don't know anything. Oh yeah, I gotta do this. Whenever I feel like doing it. I just haven't felt like doing it because... Like... All my times are already faster than Emperor Vito's times. Except for like maybe on like one track and that's because I wasn't trying. Like faster. Faster. That... Oh wait, that... 
Oh, that's part of this pyramid. I can easily do that in like a minute and 30 seconds. That's, this must be an old time. <laughs> faster. Significantly faster. Like, Emperor Vila's a joke on this track. He's a joke on this track, too. Faster. Faster. He's a joke on this track as well. Super joke on this track. Faster. Okay, this is just, he's a disgrace to alien kind on this track. How oh, you've not finishing in less than three minutes. <laughs> Faster. Faster, but I probably can improve that time easily. Faster, but I could definitely improve that time by a lot. I don't think that's a. I don't think I did that perfect USF laps. Faster. Faster. Yeah. Oh, the only time that's not faster. But that's just because I hate deep sea driving. <laughs> I know I can probably beat that easily, but I hate this track. So I have not really been playing that one. Dang, Velo! Come on, man. I beat you by more than 30 seconds. That's sad. See, like, Velo's times aren't that good. <laughs> like, all my times are already faster than Velo's times. Oh, wait. Okay, I actually gonna have to play that one. <laughs> Dang, two all seven. I this is actually a track I need to practice, so. But I'm pretty sure I could beat Vito's time on this too. No problem. Faster. Super faster. Way faster. 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 Okay, barely faster. Faster. Huh. This time is actually faster than mine. And this is on Koala Carnival, so that's an easy track. Dang. Okay, maybe he got a good time on this one, I don't know. <laughs> nah, I could beat that. I'm pretty sure I, I just lost USF. So, that's nothing. Faster. Destroyed him on his home track. Yeah, I think the only track I need to worry about is probably Koala Carnival. That one looks like it's kind of close. And I don't remember how I did on that time trial. But like most of these, I'm already faster than Vivo. So the only question is... Will the um, staff time code, the staff time goes actually be a challenge? Because if the if the staff are thinking that Vito's times are good, <laughs> if, like, what if the staff goes for this gonna be a minute twenty seconds? Because if it is, I already beat that. What's it gonna be for this? Two minutes? I already beat that. What's gonna be for this? Minute fifty seconds? I already beat that. Okay, now this one might be close. <laughs> yeah, that one might be close, depending on how good the staff those times are. <laughs> now, while we're talking about how easy it's gonna be, and then like they release the staff those times, and like they're just faster than the world record, like. You go to Crash Cove. Uh, well, that doesn't count because those people use lap glitches. But uh, Mochi, Mochi X, there we go. Like you just go look at the staff ghost, and then Crash Cove, they beat it in a minute, fifteen seconds. <laughs> you're like, wait, what? Go to Mystery Caves, uh, those two lap glitch, official Peppy, they beat it in a minute, fifty seconds. <laughs> Sewer speech break. They beat it in a minute, minute 30 seconds. <laughs> like, just imagine, like, everybody in shambles. 
Oh my god, hold up. No, that, please tell me that's a lap glitch. What the heck? A minute and two No, that's no way. Is this legit? Like, what do they do? Go through the go through a wall? No, oh, no, this those can't be legit. Can yeah, a lot of people got it though. That can't be legit, can it be? No, I can People on my friends list, they only got like a minute, 15 seconds on. There's no way those times are legit, right? They had to like go through a wall or something. <laughs> That's like a lot of time to shave off for an easy track. <laughs> anyway, just watch us. Just those staff goals just be faster than world record and everybody just panic like, oh my gosh, you're gonna be unbeatable. It, like that's there's only one or two things gonna happen. Well, three options. One, somehow their times are faster than world record, which would be amazing. Two, their times are very close to world record. They're probably a second or two off. Or three, the time's just gonna be a joke, like be those times. And just, uh, anybody who like get at the game should be able to beat them. I'm leaning more towards three and maybe two, because they did say whoever beats all their times will get like a exclusive skin or cart or something. I don't know. They'll get something. So I don't think they will make it like better than like world record pace. That wouldn't make sense if they want to give out a reward. Unless they, unless they just want to say like, yeah, we're gonna give you this reward, but you gotta be better than us, and we're better than you. Uh, I don't know. Depends. Yeah. Calling it at night. I'll live stream tomorrow sometime in the evening, probably six, seven. I don't know. Six if I'm feeling like doing this early. Seven or eight if I at the mo I'm at the latest. Unless I fall asleep. In which case I'm not getting the top five percent. <laughs> Hopefully I don't fall asleep tomorrow. But thank you everybody for watching. Hope you all enjoyed the stream. Play some more CTR tomorrow. And maybe Monday. Oh wait, no, I got homework Monday. The spring break is over. I mean, I'm not can't go to classes, but that, that doesn't stop my teachers. They're gonna be all like, "We're gonna be doing everything online." So, uh, yeah, I got homework I need to work on on Monday for Tuesday. So, if depending on how much I get done with that homework, I may live stream Monday. But by then, I'm probably gonna play uh, some more Fire Emblem Three Houses Syndic Shadows. So yeah, that's the roadmap for the next two days. Tomorrow's CTR getting top five percent. Monday, if I can play, depending on my homework, Fire Emblem Three Houses with DLC, Send the Shadows. So thank you everybody for watching, and I hope you all have a great night.